Hi, I'm Gary. And I'm Kate. And we like to play shit. And we like to play Fall Guys. We also like to chat with shit. We also like to chat with no. We also like to chat with cool and interesting people. So we thought, why not do balls? So we thought, why not do both at the same time? No, no, no. This, this is, is Talk Guys, guys. Ultimate, Ultimate Chatting. There we are. Hello, we're Hello. back. Hello. Uh, Hello. I was going to say season two, episode two. <laughs> yeah, episode. Let's not get carried away. We're not moving that fast here. I'm sure this format will run and run, but right now we're lucky just to be in episode two. Episode two. Of Talk Guys. I'm one of your hosts, Gary Witter. And I'm your other host, Kate Stark. I feel like I'm the other host. You're the host. I'm just the other host. I'm your host, Kate Stark. The, the hostess with the mostess. Um, how are you, Kate? I'm doing well. I think I'm uh, marginally recovered from uh, last night. There was a lot to recover from. A lot yeah, of drama. A lot of betrayal. A lot of heartache. Friendships I know you and I, almost, you, you and I almost had a falling out. Yeah. Uh, we, over the tail grab, the, 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 the controversial tail grab that's I'm, lighting up the internet this morning. I'm only here uh, because of contractual obligations. <laughs> We had a great first episode last night. Of course, thanks from from um, everyone here at Talk Guys to the wonderful Dr. Lupo, the fallen one himself, who led us to an incredible ten wins in thirteen uh, games played. What a what a player! What a guy! I what was a human just, being! I was there for moral support. Um, <laughs> but you know what actually made me feel really good <clears throat> is to know that I have more crowns than one of our guests today. The oh lead God. designer of Fall Guys. Not just any guest. Joe. 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 Hello, Joe. Hey. Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. How are you, That's sir? Me. Doing pretty good. The, so the, 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 the man that we should all be blaming right now for this cyclone that has come into our <laughs> lives and has upended all of our video game lives. Joe Walsh, the lead designer of Fall Guys, the, the, the biggest game out there, the biggest hit of the moment, the pop culture revolution that's sweeping the nation. Joe Walsh is here with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, that's an amazing intro. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and Rose, Kate, who else do we have with us today? We have another very special guest. We also have the mastermind behind the Fall Guys social media account. Uh, Oliver, age 24. Not actually oh 24 years old, but Oliver is here as well. Hello. There Mr. you go. At, Mr. At Fall Guys game himself, who's been causing all kinds of shenanigans on, he, on the social media. These intros are very hyped. I like it. <laughs> you're That's the one. Do here. You're the one tweeting out all the spicy memes. We're, we're, we're going to we're, we're going to talk about that when we when we get into it. Uh, the concept here on Talk Guys is we we play Fall Guys with cool and interesting people, uh, and we try to interview them and talk to them at the same time. And obviously, that's not easy to do because Fall Guys requires a hundred and ten percent of your attention. I've already got one question from the chat for Joe. Damien Mar Damien Marson one asks the question simply, Joe, why tail tag? I love questions. <laughs> Just, just why? Why did you do really this? Why? why fall guys? Why? Why did you do this to us? Uh, I like tail tag. Like, I, I really love the way the tension builds towards the end. Like, I totally get that some people are like, well, I could just stand around for a minute and grab the right. tail. And it's like, if that's the way you want to play the game, fine. Like, go for it. But no one actually plays it that way anyway. And we found that like the vast majority of people really do actually quite enjoy tail tag and that like ratcheting up of tension towards the last second. So. As Kate, Kate learned, fun. as Kate learned to yeah. last night to her great cost. Yes, the last five seconds is all that. Okay, all that I want to point this out. We were on <laughs> final round crown tail tag. Okay, royal fumble or whatever it's called. I held yeah. the tail for the. I started with the tail. I held the tail for the entire match. Nobody took it from me even once. The last five five seconds come up, and Gary says to me, "Don't get ganked." It's the last yeah. five seconds that count. It's not like I didn't warn you, Kate. And then I fell in front of him. He takes it from me and wins immediately. <laughs> I mean, should I mean, should we show the wow. clip? I don't have I, it I'm, ready. I'm I, I'm too upset. I, I mean, I, I think I might have it. Oh my god! Hold on a second. I'm I I'm, a, I might have it. Hold on. Let's uh. It's not let's. A, <laughs> that's not a true friend. How dare you? Um. Can I? Okay. Let's 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 see if I can show the clip. I think I've got it here. I do. Let's roll. Let's roll this clip for every. This is just rude. 
This is just rude. Whoa, that was right at the end. It was the last second. I expect that this this game will get me my first noise complaint from my neighbors. The <laughs> Because I, got, I have I, never screamed <laughs> at a video game so much in my life. I gotta say, I gotta try and find Kate's... Hold on, let me find Kate's version of that. Because seeing it from her side was so much more interesting. Hold on a second. I know I've got it in here somewhere. I have I it. Have pulled... Do you have it? I have it. Hold on. I did like seeing that you danced right after you did it as well. Oh, but you should see the dance that Kate does. The dance of... I've got of, it up on my pain. stream. I've got it up All on right. my stream. This is pure devastation. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it on mine as well, so that everyone can see this for themselves. Here we go. I'm running. Uh, I'm running. This is, this is what it looked like from Kate's angle, and oh. it was not pleasant here either. Twitter is deciding not to play a video. Even Lupo was stunned by by what he saw here. Ridiculous. So when that, so that moment. <laughs> Oh, you got 10 seconds. I think, I think Kate might have this. Don't say that, Gary. Don't get ganked in the last set. The last three seconds are all that matter in this game. No, 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 Gary, no! Oh, can you believe it? Oh, my God! Can you believe it? I'm devastated. It's, it's, it's all part of the, like Joe will tell you, it's all part of the game. This is the, just the way the game's meant to be played. I'm devastated. These are the moments yeah. that make Fall Guys Fall Guys. How, how I mean, that's what I was going to say, you know. Now you have that special moment because Royal Fumble exists. And now you're more inspired to come back today and win those crowns. To steal the crowns from Gary, specifically. Did you ever start the squad stream, Kate? Because I'm not seeing an option to watch in squad mode yet. Um, Did you it do says that? you have not accepted your invitation. What? So. How do I? Okay, let me go over here. Let me allow me to accept that. I have now accepted. There you go. See. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Shall we get into the game? I think we should. I think we should. Uh, we should play a little. I think that's that's what we're all here to do, right? Let me just switch over to squad mode. Kate, did, I mean, it looked like I just want to just. I, I, I'm sorry. I hate to dwell on it. Well, I don't. You, I love you it. You love to dwell um, on it. I, 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 I. It looked like you were genuinely wanted to throw your controller there. Like that was I, a real. A I real did. Fit of peak. And then I realized there is so much money on this desk as far as equipment <laughs> and monitors and cameras and computers. <laughs> and peripherals that I physically could not throw my controller at anything without causing myself a lot of financial loss. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that you found the self-control that was necessary there to prevent prevent yourself from, I, from taking it. You that, see it in the clip. The controller is up oh, it and was. I am I mean, about to chuck it at my monitor. And I was like, yeah, I yeah. can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah. Um, I saw the wheels turning. Yeah, you almost did it and you pulled back at the last second and I, I applaud your, your self-restraint. So um, before we jump in, Joe, you have 16 crowns in the game. Is that correct? Yeah, about that. 16, I think. And Across Oliver, you're... PS4 and PC. And Oliver, you're still chasing your first. Yeah, I had thousands of crowns before we uh -huh. launched. Yeah, sure, sure. Did. Of course you did. Launching right. is just throwing it all out the window. We're going to get up. you your first Kay. crown today. Kate's up to 17, so right now Kate does have the bragging rights of saying she has more crowns than the lead designer of Fall Guys. Let's see what happens today, though. That's why I'm wearing because my any, Fallen One skin. Any, anything can happen. I'm switching over to the game screen right now. As you can see, uh, we're all here. I'm uh, Fall Guy uh, 1 4. Uh, let me just make sure that I've got this working here. Let me just go over here. 1 4 there we go. 7 8. 1 4 7 8. I'm the tomato. Tomato, I should say. Sorry to, to Joe and Oliver. I, I don't want to feel like I'm selling, selling out my countrymen here. The tomato. <laughs> Um, Joe, uh, lead designer, yeah. is uh, Team Fortress Scout, four guys, uh, uh, 9857. Kate is uh, Peabody, 8136. And Oliver over there in the very delightful unicorn smoothie combo, 2905. Let's play, let's play some four guys. Let's get into it. All right. Oliver, I can't help but notice, but none of your costume pieces cost crowns. Oh, That's interesting. A... <laughs> Do you know what I also <laughs> noticed? Kudos. Is that my outfit cost five crowns a piece? Five for the top, yeah. five for the bottom. That's know, ten I, total. Interesting. I think that I think that's a bit showy, frankly. The people, that whole thing. Like, look at me. It's like, it's like wearing a lot of bling. Like, oh, look at me. Look at what I can afford. I don't know. It's Here's just the a thing. Bit you don't have enough crowns to actually purchase it, so you wouldn't be saying that if you. Own and, the and that's skin. and that's why I feel that way about it. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're I quite right. It's okay. So, um, since we have you here today, of course, as we're playing, I'm sure we'll uh, we're gonna pick your brains for some uh, pro strats and some behind the scenes. Uh, knowledge here. Whirly Gig is first up. Uh, Joe, how much? So how, how how responsible are you for the madness that is Whirly Gig? 
Oh yeah, uh, not not massively, other than the name of it. I was I came up with the early gig, and that's my claim to fame. Okay. Actually, um, but no, Tony Pepper was the guy. So the same person who designed Seesaw is also yeah. the genius behind oh, Whirly Gig. Now, I think Tony's going to be coming on the show, actually. Seesaw is yes. a wonderful <laughs> level. <laughs> so how, so for, from a development standpoint, when you've got a game that's broken down into these different, very specific kind of modular levels, uh, is, does each level, does each round have its own lead designer and then you kind of oversee all of it? Explain to me kind of how it works from a team perspective. Yeah, sure. So generally we start and we, we have a bit of a brief as a team. So we say, like, you know, we've made 10 rounds so far, but we don't have enough early ga early rounds, which is what happened with Whirly Gig. We needed more early game content to keep right. people interested right, right at the, the beginning. Because if you just play Seesaw right. over and over again, you'll get bored, essentially. Right. So so every, every first round is essentially like a little bit of a gimme, right? Like not too difficult. Yes. Yeah, we're not trying to... There shouldn't be like a barrier to entry in terms of skill that means you can never be around. I mean, like, Whirly Gig is probably the hardest one in that, like, for some people, there are just jumps in Whirly Gig that are require a lot of movement. You've got to move the camera, you've got to jump, you've got to watch two things at once. And so Whirly Gig, I'd say, is probably our hardest, hardest first round. But I mean, it's, it's not too Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree with that. Oh, shit, I just got yeeted. I mean, I'm finished. I don't know where you guys are. That's oh, an easy call right there. I'm, I'm on it. Don't worry, I got it. Oh, no. Has <laughs> anything uh, surprised you at all about the way people... Because you see, obviously, when you finally deploy a game out into the wild, you start to see all this emergent player behavior that no amount of testing can predict. Is anything about this surprise? I know people have found a way to kind of get yeeted right over the finish line from that final circle there. Has <laughs> anything surprised you in the way that people... Yeah, have I mean, all level? of the... All of the strategies around being hit forward by stuff, that was all totally unexpected. Oh, really? So that wasn't um, intentional at all? No, not not at all. We were just People were just supposed to jump over them and get knocked off into the sky. We, I don't think anybody we'd seen and managed to, especially towards the end when people get hit forwards and skip the last big whirly gig. Yeah. That's been, um, that was pretty amazing. So when you I see things like someone that... Hit, uh, so someone ahead, hit one of the... Someone hit one of the arrow billboards and bounced off of it onto the finish line that was incredible Ooh, very nice. so when you see that kind of behavior like people now figured out a spot where they can stand and get a nice little boost over the finish line do you is that something you feel like you need to tweak or patch out or just leave it like what, what's your approach to that kind of uh discovery it it slightly depends um so if it's something that is not a, doesn't guarantee you a win and requires some sort of skill and mostly is contains some some level of risk reward like you have to be taking some sort of risk to take this this route if it's just a done deal and it's too easy and it means that the level's kind of broken then we will patch it but right the vast majority of them we don't we don't touch all right Mel and cherry who, who do we blame for this level by the way <laughs> that's meg she's the lead uh lead level designer okay how do you guys feel about perfect match i don't mind perfect match uh it's not a favorite let's say but I, don't I, I, I have mixed feelings about it. I, I, I feel like you do need games like this just to kind of mix things up. It's like less of a kinetic game and more, you know, you're exercising different muscles in your brain and stuff. I get it. And I think there's a, it, it's got a good meta. I think it's probably the least fun level for me overall, just in terms of like pure enjoyment. I do really like seeing people get griefed off of it, though, because they're not paying attention. Oh, yeah. Like, and you see how Lupo griefed me last night? That was not cool. It was Why isn't that cool. the story today? Why is me grabbing your tail, Kate, which is a totally legitimate thing to do, considered unacceptable, but Lupo deliberately leading me onto the wrong tile, saying, hey, Gary, over here, <laughs> well, and he then jumping he off. Listen. Oh, Whatever. now I'm trying to focus, and I totally forgot what I'm doing. Yeah, this is not helping me. I have no idea where these fucking grapes are. Are they I here? Know. Okay. This is it. This is the one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I do not know how you guys were talking and doing that. I have to. <laughs> I mean, that's, so. We're professionals. That's, that's the point of the show. <laughs> we uh, we we play we we play with a guy, uh, our friend Adam, and when he plays, he's like, mm, okay, okay, grapes over here, bananas are over here. I'm like, will you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to like do my own stuff yeah. over here. Now you know, here's you, you do have, that shit in your head. Yeah. Here's a quick question I have to about, make a rhyme. about you make perfect. a rhyme. I have to be there going great melon cherry, great melon cherry. Great. I do <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, you get a little rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a question about the fruit. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy between the tomato, the apple, the mango. Yes. What is it? It's an apple. It's Confirmed. an apple. Oh, wow. Yep. You heard it here first. 
I feel are like we he answered are, that are differently. We, like are we hearing time. that? Are we hearing that here first, or has that already been? Has that been out there in the world somewhere? An official? I believe the Fall Guys that. Twitter account has claimed that it is a tomato. Yeah, yeah I change every time. But the, but the guy who runs the Fall Guys Twitter account is just a shit stirrer. So absolutely, a hundred percent. You can't trust anything that guy says. And uh, follow up question: Bananas or plantains? Uh, banana. I would say plantains. It's banana. Oh. Why would it be plantains? Interesting. Plantains are green. Banana. Banana. I banana. you guys all took the slow route at the beginning, by the way. Who's the Who was the lead on this uh, level, Joe? Joseph Juson. J J Joseph JJ Juson is his official title. Um, and the, the brief for this one was make it hard. I love wow. this level. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Also, Did you also, was part of the brief also include as many opportunities to grief people Hold as possible? on, Joe is a Twinkie <laughs> griefer! Joe what? is a Twinkie <laughs> griefer! What? He's griefing on oh, the Twinkies! Are you doing that? You're I a Twinkie griefer! A I just stopped to have a quick look at what people were doing. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my god. Oh, we're le we're learning a lot here about the minds behind Fall Guys. I can't a lot. believe it. You wait till we get to roll out. That's when my true colors will come oh, through. Don't even oh, start. No. Now, you, um, you said at the beginning of the level, you said, I see you took the slow route. What are you talking about, the slow route? There are shortcuts. Like, not not bouncing off the bumper and skipping the first corner. Oh, I skip the first corner. I just don't bounce off the bumper. How do you skip the... How do you do it? Do you jump dive up the... No, I just jump up, up the, the... Jump up the side. You don't Easy call. Jump dive. No, that, that's still the slow route. You got to jump off the bumper and the then you skip the entire... First bumper? Uh, yeah, like right at the beginning, there's a there's a bumper you can bounce off of. Oh my God, Hold you're the... a finish line griefer I'll... too! No, oh my God, look, at, look, the four guys devs are finish line griefers. <gasps> That's the headline. This is toxic. I cannot believe, what I'm, I cannot believe what I'm watching here. Look at Oliver. Oliver! Oliver is gone. Oh my God! The <laughs> save. He really got knocked out. Oh my God, the oh. save. Who's that wolf? The wolf did it. It's not any of us. Let me let me tell you something. <laughs> not all griefers are wolves. But all wolves are griefers. Oh that is my very true. God, this is so toxic already. First a I Twinkie do, griefer, now a finish line griefer. Joe, I thought more of you. <laughs> Slime I... time brings out the worst in me. <laughs> it truly does. Like, it brings You're out the speaking worst in to the everybody. guy that makes you press grab when you go for the crown. Oh my God. <laughs> Design that specifically. <laughs> Yeah. I do like sl slime climb. I think is one of the is one of the better designed levels and things like you said. It's just, it's just really challenging. There's like different elements to it. Ooh, a big fall ball. Gary loves fall ball. This is my, this is I've said it before. I would have paid twenty bucks just for fall ball. Like I've said that as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh, full team uh, fall ball. We didn't have this once last night when we were playing with Lupo. Oh who my was, gosh. Who was the lead on Come fall on. ball, Joe? That was Joseph J J Juson as oh, well. Okay. Same guy JJ. Did slime climb. Okay. And, uh, I think, and uh, the brief yeah. on this one seems pretty straightforward, but is there anything we should know about what you wanted to do here? So we played it a lot with one football for ages. Okay. And it was just, it just felt like there was something missing. Like it just felt a little too simple, like a little too boring and a little too straight. And people were kind of getting frustrated that there wasn't enough to do. There wasn't enough like chaos essentially. Right. And we had all these grand ideas about adding curved sides and ramps and spinners and hammers and then I think someone was basically just like why don't we just add a second football easy <laughs> uh, I'm gonna grab the crash and stomach again so the, the, nice teamwork occasionally the golden egg will drop is I've there I've seen that once I've seen it happen a few times is there like a certain point threshold that needs to be held or need to be reached before that drops or is it just a completely random situation Oh, uh, it's completely random. Sometimes it's a really low waiting and just occasionally it'll just pop in. But it seems to have a habit of turning up when it's most needed. Yeah, I love that. when That's yellow cool. team needs... Oh, right here! Oh, no, 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 Speaking oh, no, no, of! Joe, <laughs> oh was, my I, god, you, you pressed know, a button back there. Joe pressed a button yeah, you did. Fall Guys HQ. You he must did have. I've actually been trying to spread a rumor Cross that the devs jump into the game. That was and, insane. Like, oh, that was like magic. My god. I can't believe that's coincidence. Joe pressed some Joe, kind of there's button. There's a big red button at Fall Guys HQ. He's got HQ. some kind of button. He's got a golden egg button. Oh, oh, and we got that. it too. Oh my over. God. Game over. Sorry, Yellow. Can't spell Yellow without two L's. I, I gotta go back and watch the clip, but he literally <laughs> said that yeah, the golden egg shows up right when it's needed and it showed up at exactly that moment. That was beautiful. That was nutty. It's completely random, he says. Right, I'll grab the crash test on me. Someone get the header in the middle. Where are you guys? Come on. Oh. 
So this, I mean, so I mean, from a design point of view, this is a level that feels like it's fully mature. Like, if, like, is there anything you want to continue to tweak, or like, how would you continue to evolve this, or is it, or like, in its final oh, yeah. form right now? So a big thing with Fall Guys that we really want is the 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 pillar for Fall Guys is really that every time you fire up the game, you should have a different experience each time, and we try and achieve as much of that as we can with new rounds. Like the fact that it tries to put a different string of rounds together each time you play, right? Right, right. But what we want to do is to make it that, you know, kind of like the golden egg in football. We want every single level to have its own golden egg. There should be things that rarely ever happen on all of the levels. And that's kind of always been the dream for Fall Guys. So one of the things we're looking at now is fun ways to mix up levels that you think you have down. Like, oh, great, you played World Gig 50 times and you think you know your route. Not anymore. Now there's something new in the level. Now there's something that's going to make you concentrate all over again. And that right. is something we can build on and, and customize pages once yeah. the game's out. Jump showdown. Just, just, just when players think they've got, got it down, you throw them a new curveball, basically. Yes, exactly. Oliver, this is your time to get your first no, crown. I've never this played is Kate, this, this is where Kate won her first crown. This is when what I, I won my first it. crown. I've never played it as a final. So if I'm if I'm right in, uh, in knowing my Fall Guys history, this was a popular level in the beta, but it didn't initially ship, and then and then you patched it in, right? You put it in like halfway through. Yeah, correct, correct. So what was the thinking behind that? <laughs> <laughs> I love that? that. I love the developer laugh. <laughs> do, you, do you want the official line? No, we we want line? the real oh, line. We want we want the real dope. Come on, don't give us a press release. Uh. Oh god, sorry, I'm jumping. Um, <laughs> this is talk, guys. We forgot to add it. <laughs> you, you just to forgot add it? Yeah, we oh, didn't god. know it wasn't there because it's like random, so we just thought <laughs> yeah. it's not showing up. Oh, we're in trouble over <laughs> yeah. here. Oh, we're done. On we're done. Oh, yeah, we're done. We're done. Oh, yeah, we're, okay. done. we're done. Wait, we're Oliver, done. you're still in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we've got to root for Oliver. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. That was Joe. All right. Joe no, it wasn't it. rubbish. All right, Joe. I'll, I'll, I have nothing to do with that. We looking, we're looking for Joe now, right? Yeah, okay. we'll scout. Oh, God, I'm literally... Come on, Joe. You got this. Oof. This is tense. Just went for the French fry grief as well. Gotta try and throw him off. Yeah, he's, I can see him throwing, throwing some elbows. Uh-huh, trying to. Ooh, oh, not no. good, not oh, good, oh, not oh, good. Oh, 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 good. Oh, oh. You're still in it! Three left. Oh my god, that was so close! What is... I think we're seeing desync, because on I'm seeing your jump way I'm... late. Yeah, it's looking to me like he should be getting knocked yeah, yeah, up, yeah. but he's making it. Oh, oh, yeah, Joe, no, oh, oh Joe's... Oh, I'm Joe's pressing, or your Joe's hacker. Pressing more ma yeah, he's pressing more magic buttons on his end. Yeah. <laughs> pressing the win yeah, buttons. I'm gonna go with high ping. I'm sending like... clips of this, but it's just like... Server stuff. Uh, yeah. Desync. Yeah, there's a little bit of desync here. It's like last night I watched Whoa. Lupo jump onto a tile in Hexagon that didn't exist, it was, but it yeah, just it was, hadn't not, rendered yeah. on my end. It looked, but like, it, was there yeah, it looked like he jumped in midair, basically. Oh Dude, my god! Maybe, <gasps> maybe, that's, maybe that's just Lupo being Lupo. Could be. Come on, let's start. Let's start this game. Where oh, just, my just oh my god! Oh my god! That was a close one. Come on! Come on! These other two will, will just not go away. I know. Right. Oh, that was lucky. Oh no! Oh, no! I think I think the goddamn wolf the got wolf it. The wolf got it. Yeah. Uh, All right. I went okay. for the grab. First game. I went for the grab. First game. That so you li fault. you literally forgot to add it into the game. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> this game's very complicated, Gary. That's the thing you have to take away from this is that it's, it's a lot that we there's a lot that we remember to add. We remember to add 24 levels to the game. But you forgot that 25th. One of them. <laughs> Yeah, that 25th one's a doozy. Oh, goodness. Did, how did you react when you realized? When Did somebody tell you? Did you realize on your own? What happened? Yeah, is it like you left, oh, we left the gas on? Shit. You know, huh? It's like gradual, right? We just saw that nobody was playing the level or something. You're like, oh. Yeah, it's pretty much... We started seeing requests of people going, oh, we played this in the beta and it's not there, but... Obviously, the, the amount of people who played in the beta compared to the amount of people who played the game at launch is actually really small. So it took right. quite a while for that information to like spread through the community of like, oh, I thought this other level existed. And then we went and checked the game files and it was, um, I think Jinx was in there twice instead. Uh, oh, that explains why we saw it quite a bit and then suddenly it dropped off a little. Yes, probably would actually. Yeah. Um, but, and then the other, wow. you know, that's, the, that stays between us four. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, 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 yeah there's, there's no one. There's, there's no, no one, one watching. No there's, it's not being cool. clipped. It's not going to go on YouTube. It's totally fine. 
And then I guess I, I, I guess the other thing that happened when you patched it back in was you also reduced the frequency at which uh, tail tag will pop as a final round or Royal Fumble, yes. right? Yeah, is, yeah. And, we did. and is, was that just a response to the fact that people were just bitching and moaning about it? Like, how, how, how much are you taking your cues from what are you seeing from the community in terms of the, the moves that you're making with, with those kind of decisions? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was one where we'd seen a very, very vocal frustration to the latency of the grab. Uh, you know, sometimes it feels like other people have got spaghetti arms and, you know, from we know, like, we see it too. Yeah, we see it too and we agree that it's frustrating and we felt like a good middle ground was to basically lower the weighting of it appearing in the final round just so people weren't having to deal with that potential latency quite as much. Um, and we think it struck a, a good middle ground, like, I still think it's a fun level and I still think it's not too bad, but it just felt like it was probably appearing a little too much for right. for people who were getting frustrated by it. But we're, we're, I'm on the Reddit every single day, Ollie's always on the Twitter and the Discord and stuff, so... We're always reading feedback, like, constantly. That's very brave yeah, of you. Yeah, the like, patch notes <laughs> for mostly things people had asked us for, which was good. Mm. So, Joe, t take us back to the beginning. There, there was a fascinating thread on uh, Twitter recently where someone on Mediatonic did, like, a really long thread about the genesis of the game and the original pitch deck and the proposal. But, like, t take us back to the very origins of this. Like, how, how, did, where did, how did Fall Guys come into the universe? Well, yeah, so we were kind of just discussing game ideas and we were trying to think of interesting multiplayer experiences that were something a little bit different from your standard like pvp experience and we liked the idea of people working together and then turning on each other at the end in some <laughs> form and we started just talking about you know like different systems these people could be up against and different ways they could be whittled down and then i literally just remembered that takeshi's castle existed or mxc i think it's called in america wonderful right. show. and it was just yeah it's amazing and just full of so much joy and laughter and just ridiculousness and there's just you know i've always wanted to go on one of those game shows i've always wanted to oh no oh no <laughs> are, you are you out i got hit by one of the giant boulders and it like knocked me down into it'll, the level that's never it'll, happened before it'll it'll happen <laughs> never happened oh, oh my God. i swear oh, this shit. never happens i'm, 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 I'm I, stuck i'm, I'm so here. far back <laughs> Okay. Joe, I know oh, you're no, a hot dog. Joe, I know you're a, fel you're, a, you're, a, you're a fellow Brit, and Mediatonic's a Brit company. But oh, yes. God, dead. Um, but I don't know. If, I don't know if you're old enough to remember as I am. It's a knockout because that's kind of the reference point that I always yes. make when I talk about this game. Yeah, totally. Totally. Is there any? Especially it's a knockout the DNA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The costumes, like those really stupid, floppy, giant, oversized things, was one of the initial. Um, like reference points for what the four guys were going to be like they had to be as right. funny and as wobbly as possible right essentially and so that was something we went and looked at and the game was originally called stumble chums is that is that is that correct uh, it was called the very first name was fool's gauntlet which okay the oh, initial interesting. Pitch. oh which has the same um, initials interestingly yeah weirdly and then it was stumble chums was one of the name ideas that got thrown around there was a whole bunch of others as well i quite liked full beans like Aww. you know the, the phrase to give something full beans to really go for it mm -hmm. right um or um i quite like that one i think none chums, of them were really that good stumble jumps i think is quite cute however from a marketing yeah. standpoint i think fall guys hits the mark a bit better yeah the only problem is when we were marketing the game in the us and people kept being like four guys like why is it called four guys <laughs> and it's like but there's, but there's 60 players and i was like no fall guys fall, yeah fall. four <laughs> So Espe especially, was... especially since Five Guys is a popular burger yeah. chain, you don't want people to think like you're selling inferior burgers. Like, there's only four guys making these burgers, not uh, five. They Oliver is finish line Oliver griefing. Is just the one. Oh my god! Damn, got him, got him. Oliver, no wonder he doesn't have a crown. He's too busy griefing other people. Listen, turns out that's, that's all they do. Go through. Oh no, he made what? it. No, who's I still, made it. Who's still left? All of us. Uh, well, not me. I'm gone. Oh. Well, I'm still in. I fell into the slime. I got caught oh, by the slime. I'll, 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 I'll spectate you guys. Um, so, Joe, I, I'm trying to figure out like, the timeline of it. Was was the Battle Royale concept already a thing when you started dreaming this up? Or did that come... Was that kind of a coincidence? Jump showdown again. Yeah, so... Well, I mean, like, so Fortnite was getting huge and PUBG was already massive. Right. Um, and it, it just it, the idea of whittling people down to one like they do in, in Takeshi's Castle was just seemed like such a perfect fit. Right. Um, but we were worried, you know, we didn't know if, if Battle Royale was going to be a flash in the pan that was gone, you know, before the game had even released. Like, we really had no idea that it would become this staple of, you know, like the gaming environment like it has yeah. now. 
So when did um, this? So it was a bit of a punt. When did this concept start? Like when were the baby, the the baby plans I, made for this? Yeah. I sent the pitch to my boss Jeff for January twenty eight, January twenty eighteen. Wow, that's pretty quick in game development. Yeah, I oh, mean no! it's crazy. It oh, you're done, Kate. Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Oliver, it's up to you. Two Joe. final rounds on no, the bounce, no. mate. So January twenty eighteen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we started work about October-ish, 2018. So there's a bit of a gap while we found a publisher and found some people to help make it. Was this game an easy sell? Was there any skepticism? I, I have to be honest, it's the easiest sell we've ever done as a company. <laughs> I feel like, like Devolver, this is this is right up Devolver Street. It's a very Devolver game. Yeah. I think I've, I've heard you say before, though, that there were some other publishers that we sort of tried to sell it to, but didn't work out. I'm sure they're pissed yeah, now. We have, we, yeah, we, we shopped the game around to quite a lot of people and we had a couple of people who were interested in the making the game. A lot of people, the budget was like, frankly, too big for. I mean, it's a big, complicated game and it has, it was an expensive game to make and it was a big risk for Devolver, to be to be honest, you know, like, it's 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 on a much larger scale of complexity than the things they usually make. So, but here's what I want to know. So, is there is there someone out there right now, another big publisher who's absolutely kicking themselves right now because they turned this game down? <laughs> uh, almost certainly, yes. I'm not telling you who it would be. I don't even know who it is. <laughs> I, and so I guess that leads me, leads me to my next my, my next big question, which is like, did you? I mean, I, I, to what extent did you guys feel like you really had something special, like up, right, right up until the moment to launch? Because it's blown up now, and it's it's clearly become this phenomenal success. Yeah. Like, and, and I, I get the feeling that you must have known that you had something, but I don't know. Did you know that you had what you have now? I I, I mean, like I've I've always been quietly confident that this game could be big i didn't think it would be this big like this is silly now like this is on a, on a level like watching Ooh, the oliver's watching gone the it's just joe oh, oliver. joe 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 no that's not that's not me that's oh it's not, not. Me. that's a different oh, scout oh. oh we're oh. all out now oh, oh we're all out oh, oh. then, fuck, fuck then never guys. mind yeah. okay yeah i, I was, that was so excited i thought joe was the only scout i was me watching too. some other guy uh, I, I haven't got enough crowns for the scout bottom so i can only get the top oh so joe you were saying you were quietly confident I, I mean, not confident, but I was ex I, I, I've been really excited about this idea from the get go. And it's a game I wanted to play as well as wanted to make. And uh, I've always been really excited about it. But I think I remember I remember the first time we played a proper multiplayer game. I think we played about 30 people. Right. You know, the really, really basic version, the first online game. And we played DoorDash, like a really basic version of DoorDash. And I think we played it and I was sat next to Jeff, our creative director, and we both kind of looked at each other and be like, shit, this is fucking good. Like, <laughs> this could really go somewhere. Um, I think and that that moment I remember being a, a big moment. And then I think with the first time we took it to a trade show as well, like when we had a really janky, held together with tape and string build that we took to E3 to sit down with the press and had right. everybody just coming back constantly we were like staying open like late until the night, having developers come by and play and keep coming back. And that was a probably the other moment as well where we realized that we had something potentially really exciting on our hands. But the degree to which it has blown up now, where it's one of these very few games that has like totally crossed over into like mainstream, like everyone's playing it, everyone's talking about it. Like, that, like regardless of like how much you may have anticipated that or been surprised by it, it must be so gratifying to see how much the degree to which people have embraced this game. It's just really surreal. It's hard to kind of understand just how big it's gotten. But with that, you, Jay, yeah. but... with that, do you feel like you're playing a lot of catch up with, you know, you didn't expect it to get this big, but now you have all these feature requests and you've got people asking yeah. for quality of life updates and they're expecting a yeah. lot right away. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you're did you feel like you're rushing to catch up with the success of the game at this point? I think I think we're lucky enough that we've I mean almost the worst version of launch would have been if we had almost a successful game and we just needed to add all of this stuff really quickly and rush things out to try and capture god. people's attention. Oh god, that oh god, been... I'm not I'm not gonna qualify. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Fuck, First on, fuck. This. fuck this First game! <laughs> fuck this I'm not gonna qualify on oh, way back. Fuck oh, this way back. game. This game's awesome. 
I fucking... I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Put this on the box. This is the first game of the year that can also go fuck itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good quote. So do, yeah. do you feel like you're, you know, prepared to... Like, are you having to expand the team in order to keep up with all the demands for stuff? Or are you still going to stay a fairly small studio? What, what do yeah, you have I think planned? We're definitely going to expand. But for us, a really important thing is that we don't overwork the team. Like, we've, we're working up to the zero hour to get this game out the door. And the team are, to be frank, pretty knackered yeah. <laughs> from not only finishing the game, but then witnessing this thing take off. Like, it is... It is a pretty full-on thing where you can't take your eyes away from it from two seconds because you're worried that something will fall over or you'll miss something. And so um, that's the it's, thing it's really wrong. important for us that we keep everybody healthy and we keep the team happy. And I think that's um, really important. So that's, thank, thank that, you that's for the doing thing that. With these, seriously, that's the thing with these online games. Are like shipping it is just is, that's not the end. It's the beginning. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's a it's a whole different ball game. Right. right I'm Apple, watching Kate. Let's see how she can do. Oh my god. Also, you went from uh, launching the game to teasing yesterday at um, opening night live, um, the season two. Yeah. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was crazy. I mean, every time Jeff Keighley was like, but but we've got coming up full guys, season two. I just, there was a wave of terror ran over me. It's I just mean, like, I this think is too much. I, I, I feel that way of, every time I see Jeff Keighley as well. For a lot of people, I think <laughs> that's, Orange. you know, why they were watching the show is they wanted to see what was going oh, on. Yeah. And season two looks fantastic. Um, I know that a question for a lot of folks is, are you thinking with the next seasons, are you going to kind of do themed packs? So like themed skins, themed levels, um, are you going to maybe have like a space theme after that or a, you know, whatever else? Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I mean, the themed season seems like a cool concept, right? Uh, uh, grape. Apple grape. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the worst level oh, to try and no chat, chat with. Where's go with the flow, go with the crowd. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that poor little astronaut! Oh my god, everyone's on that one. Okay, good. It's a good job, um, attention. Oh, that was the last one. Yeah. Yes, uh, th I think the plan is like themed seasons. We have so many ideas for really fun seasons we can do. There's just so much potential to draw from, like so many crazy game shows that we loved that were set in different places and things right. like that. It's just, crystal, yeah. Remember the Crystal Maze? Like they oh, have Crystal Maze was great! Yeah. Yeah, crystal yeah, Maze awesome. was fantastic. So, did, so for season two now, we saw that medieval level and some medieval costumes. Does that mean that all of season two will be medieval themed or that there'll be medieval rounds within it? Like peppered that, into our normal yeah. rounds? So, yeah, we're going to basically be adding the me medieval rounds to our uh, current roster of rounds. Got it. Um, and then the idea is that we leave them in. So you'll always have those rounds. But, you know, come season three, season four, season five, all of those things will be added in. You know, I think the dream for Fall Guys is that one day we have 100 rounds and you can never know what you're going to get. And it's just like you might go for weeks without seeing a round, for example. So I was going to ask that, actually, right. is with the implementation of the medieval rounds, have you thought about maybe pulling some uh, current ones out and then adding them back in later? But it sounds like you just want to keep all of them in and keep building oh, you, on them every season. Come on, guys. Yes, exactly. I think w it's exciting to think like, how could we take the medieval things and add interesting bits to our existing rounds and, and mix them up and give other rounds medieval spins and things like that. But yeah, so, I think really the focus is on adding as much content as we can. Would you, okay, work, so, nice would you consider... Two, be a, sorry, go ahead, Kate. I was just saying, would you consider reskinning some of the current levels to fit in with the medieval theme or would you just leave them as is? Uh, um, I think we're going to do some stuff like that. Like some of the levels that you can see in the trailer are like new takes on existing levels, for example. Got it. Um, but I think it would be really interesting to, yeah, to just add like a little bit of medieval to some of the existing levels. I think would be really fun. Yeah, Have you sure. spoken yet about how many new game types will come with a season? We haven't yet. No, we're still we're keeping that one under wraps for a while and we're still figuring it out, to be honest. <laughs> We've got a couple which are coming thick and fast. So okay. It's still, but it's, a, but it's not work. like it's not like you're always going to be capped at a certain number of rounds per season. And you'll swap some out to make room for new ones. You're, what you're saying is you'll you'll be adding to the the roster going to grow. There'll be more levels. Yeah, the idea is to, to really grow the roster for sure. Okay. Unless you, we just you won as yellow forget. team, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. So is where did, where did the yellow team meme start? Because it seems like that's 
kind of just everyone's latched right onto that, right? In the diseased brain of Oliver. <laughs> just, I just saw people start tweeting about it, so I just joined in as well. Like, it's completely random and there's no actual... Bestie. That's what I love about it. Yeah, but, just... but, but do you feel like it has actually led to people Joe's beating up on the other me. team in the Joe's game? Joe's griefing me! Joe's griefing me! He is! He's chasing you around! <laughs> All, all griefers are grabbers, but not all grabbers are griefers. Oh, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like it has led to abuse of the yellow team in certain team games. <laughs> but if you remember, it was the well, same way with Pokemon Pokemon Go. It was the same um, It was the same thing. Mystic team, whatever, yellow team. People dunked on them all the time. Yeah. So it seems like a, an ongoing thing in video games. Yeah, maybe there's a psychological thing there. Maybe. Oh, God! I know, ah! I know you have that you tweet out. Up? You have that tweet about if it hits a million retweets, you'll delete yellow team. Have you thought about replacing <laughs> it with purple team? I'd quite like that. See? I think mean, that's what we should do. For Twitch, it's, just, it's a better color. It's blue and red combined. There's a whole list of reasons why it should be purple. I have a question from the chat from Inspector Toast. He asks, or she asks, or they ask, Oliver, do you have any advice for aspiring community managers? Well, we've got a job going, so definitely. Yeah, be, yeah. become the Fall Guys. Yeah, go, go apply. I think, yeah, go in strong with, with Fall Guys, because this is obviously... You've already been a bit salty about that, though, even on Twitter, saying, like, a, a, a bunch of these uh, applications are crap, basically. <laughs> yeah, I would say a few people have not put too much effort into their applications. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no! Oh my god, Kate, you're so lucky! Oh my god, I'm such you a gamer! Are so lucky! Oh my god! <laughs> fluke. fluke, fluke, fluke. I'm so good How at video games. How many people fell off there? That felt like a lot of people. Oh, brutal. Yeah, oh. everyone now. So all, all, all the surviving team members, all three of you are still in, right? Yes, yeah, oh, so Jesus yeah. Christ. That was an easy call. Oliver, how did you get into, into this, into the community management social media game? What's, what's your origin story? So I started out as a YouTuber, uh, and then I saw a job advertised at a game studio to do the same things I was doing on YouTube, but for a games company. And that was like uh, seven years ago now to work for Bossa Studios, who did Surgeon Simulator. And I was there for like six years. And then I saw Fall Guys, and I really wanted to work on that. So I applied for this job to specifically work on Fall Guys. And I was fortunate enough that I got the job. Yeah. So, 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 explain to us what 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 has been the secret sauce behind the success of this of the community and the social and the Twitter aspect of Fall Guys? Because it has like more. I I know every game has a community manager. They always have forums and social media and Twitter accounts and stuff. But this is the first time that I've seen the social media aspect of a game really feel like it's an integral part of the game and seems really to have contributed to it to its success. Like. You've done, you know, the, whether it be Yellow Team or the feud with Tim the Tatman or the charity skin thing. It's just been like one social media win after another. Are you are you a genius or are you just lucky? Like, what's what's <laughs> what's, the, what's what's the story behind the success of the the Four Guys social? And maybe it's a bit so, of both. Yeah, I'd like to think it was a bit of both. Yeah. Little calm A, little calm B. Yeah, I think like if there's a few things that I think have worked really well. So one is like tweeting in first person and just trying to make it like super personal. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, a few like fast food companies have done really well with that, like Wendy's. Right. Um, yeah, and I think I haven't really seen that much in, in video games. I feel like video games are usually like really far ahead in like technology terms and stuff. But with right. social media, I think we've fallen behind a little bit. So I want to try and copy no! kind of what was Kate's gone. Them. But for Kate's video gone. games. Who's left? Do we have anyone left? Nope. No. Joe and I just both okay. went down. I'm out. I'm out. All right. No crowns yet. Here's the thing. It feels so much better to not win crowns when it's not Dr. Lupo winning every single round. Wow. I know, but, it's, but it's nice to get team wins. This is what happens when you don't have a pro, a pro player, the fallen one himself. He did, by the um, way, during the show, he hit his 100th win. He did. He did. Oh my <laughs> God. He did. How, so... This is another thing. L Lupo last night was a little bit skeptical about whether or not he really, really was the statistically best player in the game, or if you were just being nice to him. How did you decide that Dr. Lupo was the fallen one? It was a, a really complex formula we used. <laughs> it, was, it went into all the different statistics possible, and it, it just, he was the top every time. So, so it's complete bullshit, huh? No, no, not at all. It's zero percent bullshit. Uh huh. 
All right. I, 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 I've got no reason to, to dis, dis, disbelieve him. Lupo actually showed us some really interesting stats that someone had, had compiled on his win-loss ratios and what rounds and stuff he was strongest and weakest at just based on watching him. Been, it was really interesting to see some of that stuff. Jump Showdown that, was his worst final. Yes, it 13% was. 13% win rate. That's That, that was an wow. interesting discussion that we had last night. I'd be interested to ask uh, you two about it. Um, I've been saying it would be cool if the game did uh, keep and display more detailed stats. But then I've heard another argument saying, no, like Lupo was saying, no, don't do that. Like, don't let people like get too serious about the stats. Like, this is a goofy game. Let it let it be that. Don't let people take it too seriously. And stats will allow them to do that. What's what's your take on that? Do you think stats uh, have a place in this game? I guess like one part of it is we are tracking some of that stuff. So it's just a case of like, are we going to make it visible to players? Right. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, we know the game the, tracks everything because be that's because you, you know how to like dole out achievements, right? But I'm on know, the boat right, of right, don't tell anyone. Yeah. I think but, it I mean, makes right, it... right now there right now there isn't even a way to know how many crowns you have, right? You have to keep count, yeah. keep track of that yourself. Yeah. I think that, keeping that a, a deliberate... crown count might be nice, but just like keeping stats makes it way too aggressively competitive when it's already pretty know. competitive. Yeah, uh, my my feeling is that accumulative stuff is great. Like being knowing how many crowns you've won over the course of a season, or how many four mountains you've managed to win. Like I'm totally here for that, but I'm not so interested in stats like your win-loss ratio on right. every single individual level. Right. You know, one thing we've been talking a little bit about, and this is very early, is like maybe we have an API right that we can hook up to, and if you want to go on fullguysgamerstats.com and you can go and look at all your percentages there we surface that information for people but oh interesting it's probably not it's probably not a focus for us in terms of the game but we do we are looking at ways to reward people who have won lots and lots and lots because we think we can go above and beyond the five five crown costumes that we have in the game right now speaking of the yeah, kind of oh sorry oliver go ahead I was just going to say that like, the competitive thing is something that we didn't really anticipate that people would take it quite as seriously as they do because we were always sort of like about the, the fun side of it. Well, it's speaking... an interesting... It's... Go ahead, Kate. Oh, just speaking of that, it's uh, because of how serious people are taking it, do you anticipate and how do you feel about potential esports teams and more serious competitions than perhaps Twitch rivals, but like an actual like esports circuit of this? And do you yeah, think I... that's possible? Yeah, is the Staples Center like one million dollar super duper final? You know, is is that is that something that's going to be in Fall Guys' future? Do you think? I'm not really sure where it'll go, but like we have been speaking to a lot of different uh, esports uh, companies and stuff, and we're we're putting together sort of like a, a bunch of kind of guidelines on running your own events, so people can kind of do what they like with it. Um, yeah. Apples and oranges. Tomatoes oh, and clementines. No, it's an apple. You've just heard it. It's an, <laughs> I, I've, always, I've always known it was an apple. All right, I'm staying right here. Mango. I mean, that, what I love about this game, and I've said it many, many times, is, you know, this is clearly a game that has a lot of skill involved. You can, you can get good at this game, but no matter how good you get, there is always going to be that 10% what the fuck factor that you cannot mitigate, which I love. That's to me. That's that's the the key to it. Oh God! And while I was bloviating there, I did not pay attention oh, no, at all. That that's why I went yeah. very me, quiet I mean, there. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the I'm on I'm on the I'm on the fall back follow guys uh, strategy right now. Where does it, where's everyone else going? All right, let's yeah, see. Yeah, that this okay. time. Yeah. I'm gonna be quiet for a sec. <laughs> I'm not talking, guys. Great. <laughs> Apple. Stop it! Fuck. Stop! Watermelon, orange, cherry. Oh my god, you're Great. not helping. Okay, I think I know where it is. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Do oh, not I might not. get pushed off. Everyone's off. there. Everyone's there. Qual, qual, okay. qual. All right. That's why we talked about this last night as well as like. I think another reason for the the success of the game is not just a fun game to play. It's really a fun game to stream and to watch. Like, the reactions yeah. that this game brings out of people. I mean, we all saw what happened with the Tap Man. But I, I subscribe to some of these YouTube clip compilations now, like people just raging. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh my God. Like, and we were talking about like Shroud started playing it and Shroud is like the most composed elite level player in the streaming game. <laughs> and he was right. If you can make Shroud rage, you've done yeah. something. I was watching him play yeah. his first ever round and it was within the same <laughs> breath. He said, 
why are people grabbing me? Go play your own game. And the very next sentence was, come here, you piece of shit, let me grab you. And I just thought that immediate flip was like the perfect Fall Guys sentence. Like, this is it. Yeah. Tell us a bit. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's really interesting, right? Because like the kind of things you're bringing up, it's, it's very... It's very satisfying for the design team to hear these sorts of things because two of the big things that we focused on were, you know, we had these design pillars set out for every single level that they had to, to had to had to achieve. So kind of coming back to what we were talking about earlier about like how do we design a level, we have this like five commandments of a great full guys level that we have to hit. What are the and five the first commandments? One, the first one was like it's about it's like eighty percent skill, twenty percent chaos. You know, like sometimes things aren't going to go your way. Right. and that's fine but also things can't be completely random you have to have agency in in your you know your full guy's destiny as it were uh first place um, over the line thank you very much nicely done and I then the I second one is um random <laughs> <laughs> but then the, the second one really is like it, it has to have the ability to create one in a million moments for it to be a great a great full guys level absolutely um you know, like on perfect match, it's that one where you manage to win on perfect match and everybody else guesses wrong and you <laughs> guess right. On like on um, fruit shoot, it's like emoting at the finish line and then being hit by the log and going all the way back to the beginning. Like those moments are things that we worked really, really hard to to make sure that the game could generate. Right. And that that ethos has to permeate the entire game on like a really fundamental level for it to work like everything from the way the character falls over to the way the physics interacts to the way you know like the, the rounds themselves are built and, and designed is all channeling this ability to create like highlight clips essentially because we're right. making a game show and the classic bit of Takeshi's Castle is the you know, Craig's magic replay at the end where he picks his fam famous moment yes. and you watch it back in excruciating right. slow motion and if the game can't generate those clips then it's not doing it's not doing what it needs to do. And so that's one of the things I wanted to touch on is uh, you just said we're watching a game show. I want to talk about the mythology, the oh. lore, the whatever behind where this is happening, who these jelly beans are, why they're six feet tall. Um, <laughs> just be advised, this is a big issue for Kate and she's going to take oh, you down the road and grab it all right now. Double goal. Yeah, I haven't Kate, stopped. Kate has strong feelings about the mythology of this game. Until I've... I was fine until I found out that they were six feet tall, and then I have not stopped thinking about that. Because if they're six feet tall, how big is this ball? How big are the apples on fruit shoot? It's all devastating. I've said before it doesn't matter because this obviously is not Earth. It's another world. So what difference does it matter if they're six inches or six foot? It's well, all relative. What if it is Earth? We well, I tell you the tweet that got me, and I think this is the best tweet in Oliver's career, was when there was <gasps> a reference egg. to the oh fake plot. Golden egg! Was, Straight in! pressing a button. Someone is pressing a button at All Guys HQ. I swear, <laughs> I can't even do that, even if I wanted to. That's not physically possible. I'm going to grab this guy. Get another goal. We got Go it, on. we got it, we got it, we got it. That's tips over. Oh my, my god. god. Oh, is my, so god. oh my god. Now. My favorite Grabbing is um, so underrated in full ball. My favorite tweet is when there was a reference to the different face plates, and somebody tweeted at Fall Guys, "Wait, so if you say face face plates, that means that's not their real faces?" And he just tweeted back, "Yes." And I, and I, I did, thought, I did see your follow up tweet. I think this morning of like, I will forever regret this tweet. Um, with yeah, all of yeah, the right. responses, it's horrifying to think about. <laughs> okay, so Kate has opened the door. What is the mythology? What, how much do you know about what's, what, like, who are these four guys? Where are they competing? For whose amusement? What is going on? So, <laughs> oh, there was a good lead up there. <laughs> so, I think the way we see it in the world is that there is not too much. It, four guys like has popped into existence, and it is a world that has that has been built to run game shows and everything in the world is is game show four guys don't like go home at the end of the day and like wash the dishes they compete okay. and they love competing this is insane okay. by the way that we're winning 17 nil yeah this is gross um, Shit. <laughs> wow that, that's that's my big that's my biggest that's biggest win ever in fall guys um in fall goal but, i should say but yeah like the the it's you're right it's not earth it's another dimension where four guys compete and it is streamed through cameras out to the rest of the, i guess the universe which is the what we are i guess so are they are um, these four guys like created and bred to to compete and is, is this the whole point of their existence i think bread when you say say bread that sounds <laughs> bad 
I think I mean, I know, they, like... they just pop into existence. <laughs> they, just like... pop in. they just appear. Yeah, they just appear on that podium at the beginning. And but this like, is their oh purpose in life. Like you said, they have no other purpose. Yeah. Okay. Do they... their, their goal in life is to win crowns. Do they have feelings? Okay. I can relate to that. Like if they lose, are they upset? Yeah, um, they, are, they do emote, right? They go woohoo and things. That suggests they have some kind of feelings. Yeah, so, so like the way we see it is that they feel like brief, brief. They're briefly frustrated at going out. Like they want to win and they're competitive. But at the end of the day, they're, they, it's lighthearted and they're, they're just happy to compete at the end of the day. Like okay. they want to win, but if they don't, you know, that's why it's so important for us to see them like cheering on the finish line. Even when you get eliminated right. in the right. first round, they're like, Right. They still want you to be proud of them, that they tried their best, you know? Aww. I just want to be clear, this is not like a Hunger Games type scenario where, like, no one's being forced to compete, right? They, what, they want to be here. <laughs> I mean, that, it sounds case? like it's their yeah, only that... purpose in life is to be here. They're fulfilling their life's yeah. purpose. That, exactly. They want to be here, but also they don't have a choice. But mostly they want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Two platforms left. I'm over here with some dummies. So, about you guys. Joe, like, I know Oliver answered this on Twitter, but I don't know if we're taking that seriously anymore. Are they six no, feet yes. tall? <laughs> uh, I've always said that they're not, but then Oliver doesn't listen to me when he tweets. No, because technically they actually are 1.83 meters in the I just game. got griefed by a son of a fucking bullshit! <laughs> Fuck that guy! I... I and, and he went over life. the edge with me. I get so much joy it was a from murder this. suicide. <laughs> fuck this game. Right, fuck. Sorry. So let's talk guys. one let's talk one point eight three meters tall. They are that tall in game. You believe the game engine? That's how big they are inside there. I do believe that. Right. Oh, it's just I me and Joe. Is true? Oh no, there's someone else. Yeah, yeah it was Joel that told me. It's not me that made it up. Then how wow. did people find out and make that? Awful graph. No, yeah, that's based it. on the that's based <laughs> on the in-game size. Oh, okay. In my head, they've always been a little bit cuter than that. They've How... always been about like four feet, I would say. So still pretty big. Yeah, still pretty. Yeah, definitely big. Like they're not. Oh God! Up, 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 up. Oh my God! Joe's still in. I was only thinking two of us left, Kate. It's a it's a small. It's oh so there's a, there's a crown guaranteed here. Team crown guaranteed. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! <gasps> it's Joe. It's you Joe. are so toxic. <laughs> it's Joe. I just got griefed by the lead designer of the game. I quit. Did he grief I, you? He what fucking happened? griefed me. He grabbed he me. Grabbed? Oh my god. I mean, it's all, it's, all in, it's all in the game, right? It's all part of the game. No, this game sucks. Toxic, though. You're toxic. <laughs> I can't believe you. Oh my god. I think we're on level. We're level, pe level pegging for crowns now, Kate. Okay. We are at seventeen. Congratulations, 17 congratulations each. team talk guys, on our first crown. Joe, so well yeah, done. That's, that's my that's my attitude. Well done. It's not oh, about you, me. Oh, you me, didn't me. just get griefed on the jump showdown. My God. No, I did, by, but 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 by a rando. Not by the lead designer of the game. I mean, I, f I, I feel like if the lead designer does it, that inherently is okay, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I feel like griefing is like doing things that are detrimental to the game, like pulling people back at the finish line. But I'm trying to win. That's you, just did you, strategy. I, th I think you mentioned this earlier, Joe. Like, did you imagine that this kind of antisocial behavior, like players trying to sabotage each other, like that's baked into the recipe, right? That's not something you were oh, surprised yeah. by. Okay. No, that's yeah. deliberate. Like, definitely it was happening deliberate. on the dev team as well when we were playtesting <laughs> before. So <laughs> it's not a surprise. Yeah, like it, it was really important to us to have some shenanigans in the game because without it, you're just running courses alongside other people. Like it just right. doesn't create enough meaningful moments of interaction between people. And the grab just allows you to like disrupt people and in a, in a mostly pointless way. Right. But it was still important to have it just because, because we didn't know what people were going to do with it. The, um, what was the first? Right at the back. What was the first level of this you ever built? Like, what was your prototype, like, test level for this? Because you must have, there must have been one of them, right? Yeah, the, the first the first one was DoorDash, really. That was the first okay. thing that we built that made it into the game. We built a bunch of really rubbish stuff that was, like, big middle, giant... Middle door, by the way. We were really, yeah. we were really obsessed with... Um, oh, my God. We were really obsessed with movable blocks for ages. Like, we were sure that was going to be the DNA of all guys with movable blocks. Easy qual. So we... Oh god, this is gonna be close. Come on, yeah. Christ! Easy qual. Easy qual. 
Oh, you're kidding me. Did you not? Oh, oh was, no. was that you at the finish oh, line getting God. eliminated? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Hit, hoisted by your own Heroes unjust Heroes. retard. Oh, shoot. Wasn't that round one as well, Jay? That was. Yeah. Oh, that feels bad. That was, the, that was the onboarding round for noobs. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. You really did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. When are we going to see season two, by the way? Oh, uh, sometime in October. I, I'll definitely say it's going to be oh, sometime in October. Not, we don't have an exact release date. Yet. Okay. It's exciting. And so, how uh, long do you expect the seasons to be? Because it seems like they're about 60, like two months, 60 days? Yeah, I mean, the first season has been two months, um, which is we'd, we'd had planned from, from the get go. That gives us enough time to, like, settle down and plan some more stuff but we we don't know that that might not be the case going forward right obviously things have kind of changed a since we bit. initially made a plan so <laughs> um so uh, here's our first seesaw peppers is going to be coming on the show i think at some point and, and giving us the lowdown but uh from your perspective tell us about seesaw oh i think seesaw is the epitome of four guys in a lot of ways i love like, this level <laughs> i have a love-hate relationship with it because i think it it's this this idea of having to team up, but also having to screw your, screw people over at the same time is, I think, what makes Fall Guys different and unique from other multiplayer games. And that's like the, the DNA of like Takeshi's Castle are those moments where they help each other over the finish line, right. even though they're competing. And that, like that was kind of what we wanted initially was like rounds where people kind of had to help each other, but also would screw each other over. And that's kind of where the team games came from as well was a way of like forcing that in a slightly less subtle way <laughs> to like make people team up so right. seesaw is like a great one it's like play nice but also not like but also try and screw everyone over at the finish line anyway but seesaw is definitely a team game uh but it's you versus everybody else yeah 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 exactly the lines are a lot more fuzzy oh no um, purple okay. oh we're good we're good we're good we're what good. are your uh, what are your personal favorite levels yeah. in this game I hated Slime Climb to begin with until I could do it, and then now it's my favorite. I think everyone has got has that narrative arc with Slime Climb. Yeah, yeah. We got our, People ask so much to make it easier. Like, it's too hard, it's too hard. It's like, I think they just time. didn't know how to You'll play learn. it. Yeah, it, yeah, like, that's not, yeah, like, yeah it clicks. I might oh, not, well, I I might not one, call on my like, favorite level. I think we might have Pepper. I think we might have Peps in the chat right now. Oh, really? There's someone called Pepper San who is saying, I hope you are enjoying the greatest round in Fall Guys. It's my favorite That's level. Definitely him. Him. Or a fan of him. I mean, it is. I, I have a love hate relationship with it. But I do think it, it sums up Fall Guys as, as well as any round in this game does. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. My, my personal favorite is Hexagon, though. I love Hexagon. Oh, that is a clenchy, a clenchy oh, round. I could play. That's the, that's could the heart rate Hexagon. game right there. I could play Hexagon for five rounds in a row, quite happily. Oh, don't you don't. So the don't counter to that me. is, what's your least favorite level? Um, I don't mind's perfect match. I've got a really bad memory, so I just <laughs> I feel like it's really unfair. <laughs> um, I would probably say. Team Team Tail Tag probably. I, I'm, I'm, I, I can I can appreciate that. And why do you feel that way? Uh, there's not enough interesting team play that comes out of it at the end of the day. I think I think we need to have a little look at it and see if there are some ways. We were kind of hoping that there would be some more immersion strategies around protecting tails of your teammates and passing your tails onto other people. But there's just I think the player count's too big for that stuff to happen. Right. Um. Uh, and there's just not, they're not enough really, really, you know, we talked about like the one in a million moments earlier. I just don't think there are quite enough in Team Tail Tag right now. So we're playing X Scramble, of course, for the first time here. Tell us about this one. This is another Meg Ralph original. We should get Meg on. It seems like she's uh, doing oh, a bunch yeah, of yeah. good stuff in yeah, this definitely. game. I've, uh, Oliver and I have just been doing a strat that I have never seen before. What is that? Which is Oliver was standing in the middle, grabbing eggs and chucking them behind this partition. And then oh, I would I would run them yeah, I would run them there. back to base and drop them in. I've never seen anybody yeah. do that before. So we, me and Oliver, did uh, PAX East this year, or yeah, uh, in Boston, which feels like insane. Up. 
Yeah. Yep. Um, so we we sat and played Egg Scramble and watched Egg Scramble every day for four days, like eight hours a day. And so we have just got like hind, finely honed Egg Scramble strategies. Like you have no idea. I mean, look at. I would show 32. you, but I got eliminated. Thirty two. Oh, yeah. Yellow is killing it right yeah. now. <laughs> Oliver, Oliver is participating in the destruction of his own meme by crushing it on yellow team. I love it. That's true. Actually, we've won every time we've been on yellow in the stream. It's true. So the, you know, the one of the interesting matters in these three-way games um, is, of course, it's not about coming first. It's just about not coming last. And I've noticed that there is a kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy that when one team starts to fall behind, the other teams will gang up on them because it's like, okay, they're, they're down. Make sure they stay down, right? Was that was that deliberate or was that uh, was? Do you imagine that was going to be part of the of the matter of, of the three-way games? Yeah, I think we realized it wasn't deliberate, but we realized pretty quickly while we were playing it that that was going to become a thing, um, and so. We, that's kind of why we added the golden eggs a little bit was to make sure that like that can still happen but then you manage to steal a golden egg and suddenly you're no longer the victim anymore you like, can still have a big tide, swing very late yeah. Can turn. yeah yeah and that, that was why we added them like without the golden eggs it was just a kind of a done deal once you got behind but i think the rounds are short enough that that initial tension around like oh god are we going to be the team like you know uh, like suddenly the score starts to drop and you can feel that 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 turning a focus onto your team and everyone starts mugging you like I think that's what that makes that level fun. Like, I think that's that's a perfectly great full guys rounds to just avoid being the team that gets mugged. And the ones that don't have the golden eggs can be interesting too, because you know, like they could again the la again the last five seconds it really tells the story. They can swing so radically in hoarders and um, and team tail tag. Yeah. I mean, Actually, you think you you think you've got it, and then it's into overtime, and then you end up losing. Oh my god. As far as, Don't even get me started. Yeah. As far as team games specifically go, I'm quite partial to Hoopsie Daisy. I think that's my my favorite team game. Um, I like Hoopsie Daisy. Yeah. Which is your favorite team game? Oh, I love Rock and Roll. The one where you got to push the ball mm. to the I like that one. I like that one, I like that one as well. Yeah. Is that, okay, so we we played it earlier. Is is is, is there a, is is there a methodology to that? I know some people like to send a spoiler forward. Uh, other people just like to get everyone behind the ball. What, what's the winning tactic for, for that game? I think it's tricky. I think people are still figuring out the optimal ratio between like, yeah, griefers and, and ball pushers. I think you all have to be committed to getting your ball ahead right. early. Like everyone needs to push and get yourself across that finish line first because it's definitely one where the team that are ahead get far enough ahead that they don't have to worry anymore. And it's the other teams that the other two teams at the end that really suffer. So I think you've got to you've got to focus on being as fast as you can, and then after that, it's just it's anybody's game. I don't understand these teams that send someone forward right at the start because there's not even anything they can do until the balls yeah. come out into the communal area, right? Yeah, exactly. It's just one less one less man behind the ball. I thought that was the final. No, it's I got a, gold for the final. Uh, I oh. got a bunch of questions coming in from the chat, and they're all the ones that I know you've heard a million times. I got to do my job and at least ask you. All cross right, play. Let's do this. Cross play. Maybe one day. Okay. Xbox. Maybe one day. Switch. Nintendo Switch. Maybe one day. Cross progression. Uh, mm. That's a lot harder. And Why, is that, hard? Why is that harder? Uh, okay. Because we don't have like a Fall Guys account. Like it's your Steam right, account right, and right. it's your yeah. PlayStation account. And the two aren't sort of like linked together. Yeah. So there's no right. way to link them easily. Yeah. Exactly. And so, like, I'll try like, completely hypothetically, say we did a really, really awesome deal with, like, Valve, for example, and we have all these amazing costumes in the game. And then we go to, like, another platform who, like, maybe don't want Valve ah. costumes in their game or appearing right. on their platform. Right. It's like, then how do we do cross-platform progression? Because suddenly things have to stop being filtered and, you yeah, know, like, all of these things are ultimately solvable, but it's where more complication appears basically when you start doing cross platform Come on, Kate. progression this is, this, is, this is looking like kate maybe oh, oh. Yes! who got it who got it who got it did i did get it? yay yay, yay! Kate. the curse is broken guys is back on top oh let's Have go you taking joe again um, oh, why am i cheering yeah i have i'm at 18. God. So that's, Ooh, two, I could so that's get two, my, two team crowns, one for Joe, one for Kate. I could get my uh, 20 crown Chivo today. If Ooh. I get two more. Oh, yeah, nice. Ooh, let's go. Okay. I gotta update so, my crown counter, sorry. Let, let's get real though. We uh, Xbox and Nintendo Switch, like you gotta check those boxes. But right, but for right now, all you can, all you can officially say is maybe, maybe one day, right? 
yeah like right now our real focus is on making the playstation and the, the pc games as good as they possibly can be like we really have to build trust with the community now and 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 make sure that they believe that we can support this game and make it really good because the game is the game is like no longer ours right like we develop it and we put it out there and now it belongs to the community essentially right right so it's our job now to be like hey community we know what you want and we're listening and we're working as hard as we can to try and fix it and for us to just go like hey well like now we're gonna just focus on bringing it to more platforms it's not it's not the right thing to do at this point in development to just like because that you know like that will make us more money but that's not what we want to do right now like the focus is on building that relationship with the community and like it's also getting a, people on side and building that trust also becomes every time you deploy onto a whole other platform and add a whole other user base that then becomes much more work for you to support right oh yeah exactly it's it's a huge job and yeah, a lot of people on Twitter seem to think it's just like an, an extra button you press, and then suddenly it's like <laughs> now available it's, now for it's Xbox. On the Xbox. Like... Actually, yeah. speaking of that, <laughs> as you've tagged myself and Gary in some of these tweets, which has been wonderful, thank you, um, we get to see a lot of the replies that come through. Oh my god. And whatever so they're, Oliver, whatever they're paying whatever you, Oliver, it's yeah. not enough. So we, we get just a, a taste, and in the past couple of weeks we've gotten a real taste of what you deal with as the social media manager. How how do you deal with it? Do you ignore it? Do you like feed into it? Do you, what, what do you do? Uh, humor or ignoring it, I think is the, the way to go. Yeah. Like I see, I, I, like yeah. I see Oliver tweet out things saying, "Hey, we're going to play four guys with these, uh, you know, with Gary and Kate." And then I and then I get a hundred. I, I, I pick up my phone in the morning. I have a hundred mentions. Oh my god, what have I done now? But it's a hundred people who rep responded to that by going, Xbox. "Why don't I have my crowns? And where's my Xbox?" Get rid of like, hackers. Like, like, fix yeah. the like servers. That's, like that's the forum to get your question answered. I've oh yes. Yeah, I've just started <laughs> telling folks when they asked uh, when they asked me to put it on Xbox. I've just said, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, did you see that yeah, one where yeah, right on someone that. said fix the servers on, on Gary? So I just said, yeah, Gary. Yeah, yeah Gary, fix the servers. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> yeah, I, think I just saw, I just saw a bunch of people do that yeet trick. That's getting quite popular. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. So, Gary, Sorry, did, did, did you fix the servers, by the way? Gary? Uh, oh, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're working, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, cool. It's <laughs> <laughs> good to me. So, Joe, you were saying one of the things? I think one of the things I've seen Oliver say in the past is that you kind of kindness is the best response a lot of the time like i you get a lot of messages on on various social media bit like hey like this level is crap and i hate it and you ruin the game and we should this thing should be deleted and if you respond and just say hey like oh i'm sorry you feel that way you know there's a lot going on and we're trying to fix these things a lot of the time you get messages back being like hey i was pretty hammered when i sent that and i didn't really mean <laughs> what i said and now i regret it like generally people just frustrated because they care about the game and they want it to be the way they can and if you just interact with them generally people chill out but there's a, a scale at which that sort of becomes unsustainable which is what oliver has to deal with and that's another point i wanted to touch on is that the this game while being inherently quite cute and fun and you know light-hearted does seem to draw the toxicity out of everybody that plays it i can't play this game without swearing uh, just uh, at an unbelievable level it brings the worst out of everyone in the best way but i find that it's also for such a sweet game it has also harbored like a, a really dedicated and wonderful community but also people taking it so seriously in in a toxic way online that's what I find hilarious. It's like finding out that my kid's kindergarten class has a toxic community. It's yeah, like, what? exactly. That's exactly <laughs> it. But it's, you know, you might expect it from a, a shooter game or something like that, but seeing it for a game like this oh, is That's just... why it's so funny. Like when you're shouting like, fuck you, hot dog and stuff like that. I mean, it's just all part of the, the fun of it. Absolutely. It's actually a challenge to find uh, video clips where people aren't swearing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you know, I don't. I don't know if that's been a challenge for you because one of the great strengths of the game, of course, is it's you know appropriate for all ages. You know, my eight-year-old daughter loves playing it, but she it's hard for her to watch because I can't find a stream that isn't people effing and blinding all the time. Yeah. I have parents yeah, coming into my chat being role, like, right? "Is this a PG? Can I can I watch this with my kid? They're eight. <laughs> do you swear?" And I'm like. I, I do, yeah, I do. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, my, my kid's able to watch these videos because she's she she understands that some some words are bad words and she shouldn't say them. Yeah. But like, yeah, when she watches some of these streams, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, the, the you're language. the one swearing, go fuck yourself. Like, yeah, and, die yeah, and it's fire. my and it's, and, yeah, and it's my streams she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She will say, you shouldn't say that, Daddy. I'm like, well, blame 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 the fucking designers. 
Blame <laughs> Joe. Yeah, blame yeah. Joe. Joe, don't you, do this to me. Joe, don't do this to me. Oh my god. No, I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Oh my god. That's a, li that's a line I do not go to. Pushing people off the end of slime climbers. <laughs> Abhorrent I, behavior. I like that. One, one of the things that I found well, interesting about slime over. climb was like finish line griefing was a thing for a while, but now people have found all kinds of places where you can like Twinkie griefers are a thing now, like on the logs. <laughs> like they'll grief. There's all yeah. like all kinds of places. Yeah, you get grief. and Joe is a Twinkie griefer. We went over this. It's devastating. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's I'm here not, for that. That's funny cool. doing that because it doesn't Easy eliminate qual. people. It just Easy makes qual. them have to go again. Slime climb doesn't hold any fear for me anymore. <laughs> I used to dread it, and now I embrace it. I'm like, bring it on. I got you. I yeah. got your number. So while we're kind of on the topic of social media and community, um, part of the, I want to say part of the game's success, or at least part of the way that the game has blown up so much since its launch is definitely due to the Twitter account uh, and just the general face of the social media, um, more so than other games that we've seen. Do you agree with that? Do you feel a certain way about that? Are you comfortable, Oliver, as you as you clearly have been, taking all the credit for Fall Guys success? <laughs> I know oh. specifically what you're referring to. I know it, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's not touch on that, you know. But how, how do you feel about how your work on the social media has uh, impacted the success of the game? I think it's sort of like, it's just worked together. Like, I've kind of, like, amplified a lot of the things that are in the game and sort of taken that out on social media as well. And I think that's worked really well. And then being as personal and so on as open and just kind of yeah really down to earth with players has gone down really well um and i think like you can definitely see that uh the twitter has grown faster than some other games yes uh, yeah <laughs> to what to what yeah. extent because I'm, I'm not too familiar with how like the community social manager department of a, of a development team or a publisher um is integrated into the into the rest of it like do you if, if, anytime you're doing like starting a meme or a little you know media campaign or whatever on twitter are you clear is that kind of in concert with the developers and the rest of the or is it like oh you know like joe sitting at his computer one day so like, oh, oliver's gone rogue again what you know like, what's he up to now like at the moment everyone's like so busy that it's just sort of me kind of winging it and then kind of keeping them informed of what's going on and is right. that why you're yeah. hiring a second social media community manager yeah it's, it's a lot of work to kind of manage all this stuff uh, it's just one person uh yeah games usually have like a whole team of people behind their social accounts yeah. <laughs> i just keep tripping on this one hoop oh my god we're doing okay I've got red, 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 I've got again as, <gasps> long, as long as there's oh, one team gotcha. lagging you're okay yeah i don't care if i win the yellow team just don't want to lose. So we were talking to Lupo about this yesterday, and for Hoopsie oh, Daisy, do you have particular strats? Because my strat, and it seems that Lupo's as well, is to kind of dedicate yourself to a certain section of the map where I I kind of hold mid-ramp and try to go for everything around there. Do you have a similar strat, or do you just kind of go rogue and do whatever you want? Um, I like, I try and keep an eye out on where gold hoops can spawn. And I try and keep myself slightly spread out from the rest of my team as well. Right. Oh, that's absolute. But I got those. Um, <laughs> like, it's important for a team to be spread out, and so I'm. I spend quite a lot of time looking at We're my other teammates. One. Yellow team Gen wins. Nice. Generally, I, I like the the spinners because you can get a good catapult off of the mill spinner oh, to true. wherever you need to go. True. How many? Um... How many level, how many, like, you know, you got the 24 that you launched with. How many levels did you have and do, like, was, was there an issue, like, thinking, like, which 24 do we want to go with? Or, or, or did the 24 that you were going to deploy with, like, did that kind of take shape fairly on, fairly on in development? Oh, no, I mean, it's been probably, it's one of the hardest things has been trying to get 24 amazing levels together. It's, it's been really hard, you know, it was... It took us a while to figure out what a great Fall Guys level was. You know, we uh, to begin with, the game was 100 players, and so we were trying to make things work for 100, and it just wasn't working. Right. And that was a really big... Oh, nice. Fit. How did 60 emerge as the sweet spot? 60 was kind of like... a hundred. We tried 100, and it was too crazy. And we, we played around with like 40, 50, 60, and asked people how many people they thought were playing. And people always seemed to think it was about 100 when we had 50 or 60 people in there. And so it seemed like a good, a good starting point. Which way am I tell us, go? tell us about tiptoe. Yeah, is there here. a strat for this, or is it just completely watch. random? Other than the shaky tiles. 
Oh, so the wiggly just... tiles are oh. always duff, right? Gary, was yeah, that you? Yeah, wiggly tiles are always duff. Okay. Did you just bot me? No, not deliberately. I would never do that. You absolutely did. I mean, is I mean, is there a strategy oh, here? Oh, like... no. <laughs> Fuck, no. Which it's, way it's, is it? I can't remember this the This is the thing, like, it's it's too late at this point to make a mistake. Here we go. You guys, can you guys just wait? Don't let anyone oh, shit. move. Let me catch up. Okay. No, stop. Slow them down. Okay, it's left. It's left. Okay, it's more left. Oh, shit. It has is to it, be. It, it, it has all... to be straight, This right? other tomato is fucking with me. Get that's, off Okay, me. that's the tomato that griefed me off. Okay, which it's way is it? The, is it forward? I'm waiting for one of these tiles to shake. There you Can go. you also stand on everyone's screen? As yeah. Oh, I got yes. eliminated! Oh, Kate! Oh my god. You're so close. Yeah, that's the fine. shaking's network, so it, it shakes consistently on everyone's screen. Oh, oh that's um, good to know, actually. I mean, so it, 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 there's not like a trick to that that you can figure out, is there, that game? No, no, no. You, you just got to try and read where the shakes are and memorize it. And so there's right. no, try like... Try and see where it hasn't shaken. There's no right. series of preset roots or anything, it's just... No. And it, 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 generates, it generates a path to the finish line, and then it generates another second path to the finish line, and then okay. it just turns the both on, and away you go. So there's always two. There's always two paths to the finish line. They could overlap, so, yeah, right. but they can overlap. So there's not yeah. always two. Now I heard okay. I heard something about that that maybe the second path was a mistake, and then it just got left in the game. Is that correct? Uh, uh, no, I can't remember where no, I read we, that. They don't make no, mistakes. No, it was always it was always two actually. Alex Welly, one of the uh, like uh, engineers on the project, it was like his first attempt. He was like, "I'm just going to throw this in. We're going to do two parts. And we'll see how it plays, and we'll figure it out from later." And then we just kept playing it, and it just kept generating like amazing paths, and like it was always different. It always created something weird and unique. So ah, we just kept it. In. God we damn like, it! I fucked up. Here. Oh my god. It's okay, you saw the chance. Yeah. Nah, they, this so wolf's got on. it. The wolf's got no, it. Oh, they... it's high for him. It's high for him. Yeah, He's got to wait. Oh. Yeah, he got it. He got it. He got it at the last second. I didn't even get to pass the hammers. Some, some, somebody asked a question in the chat, and I think they're being serious, but we were actually joking about this last night. Lupo cracked up and we said, can you imagine if this game had open voice chat? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. I hate it. People keep <laughs> suggesting it on Twitter. It's the worst thing I've ever heard. I, I mean, yeah. it, it, it would. It, I think it would lead to the downfall of civilization. Yeah. yeah. That, that goes in the category of, like, things people think they want but don't actually want, and it's, like, voice chat. Yeah, usually Boy, I Shatters. tell everyone their ideas are great, but that is the one that I just tell them. It's just the worst. Going you know. back to uh, Tiptoe, Kate, didn't uh, we? Hit, I think for the first time ever last night, we hit a dead end, a right? Complete, like that can happen. A complete dead end. I've never seen really? it, and there was no tiles around. We it. Hit, we hit a dead end. It. Yeah, it was just a it was just a path Whoa. that went to nothing. Did you know that was possible, Joe? I'm trying to think in my head how it could happen. Because the path always goes right or left or forwards. It can't double back on itself as far as I know. It went completely straight to the right, and then it just stopped. Yeah, we'll show you the clip. It, it went no play. Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, okay, well, this clip. Is, yeah, we'll, so we'll, we'll found we'll a bug. It. That's cool. Um, I've also, seen one where it's been just a straight line. like ooh, All no. the way straight through? Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's cool. incredible. Sounds like a feature. Um, I know we kind of briefly touched on this, and... Uh, People are people are asking quite a bit, so I'm gonna ask you, and you can answer in whatever way you're comfy. Custom servers, are we gonna see them? Is it a priority? I think we will probably one day see them. Yeah, like it, we know how much people want to do it, and we totally appreciate how much, especially like Twitch streamers, want to play with their chat. Like that's just that would be so awesome. We would love to make that happen. Um, but it's not quite as high of a priority as things like getting this game server like stable and adding new rounds and keeping things like that. So like. We're definitely looking into it and we're having conversations very regularly about how we could achieve that. But for now, it's going to be a slightly longer wait. Oh, I'm miles ahead. So, yeah. What, 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 I, what, are, like, soon. what are like the most pressing priorities right now? Yeah. Like, what, what are the top few things on your to do list? So, I think, the, I mean, the first biggest one is hackers. I mean, we've not seen any let yet, luckily, touch wood. Mm. Right. But that is the biggest thing that we need to fix is, is is people cheating. Because if we can't fix that, then people will stop playing the game because it, right. is, it sucks. It sucks to get to the final round and then. And, then and I don't cheating. get the mentality at all. And, you know, it's like, the, the, is there any satisfaction in winning that way? And, like, you're messing with, like, other, like, kids are playing this game. Like, fuck yeah. these guys. Yeah, I guess it's just it's the same people who cheat at 
I don't know, everything else in life, it's just people who <laughs> find take joy in ruining other people's day, essentially. And how um, and how do you tackle I don't want to get too technical, but like, how do you tackle that problem? How do you identify and deal with hackers? Is there some uh, stuff in the game that kind yeah. of yeah, detects that stuff and then it will kind of boot them out afterwards. But it doesn't yeah. currently boot them out in the middle of the game at the moment. So it's only like after the game's ended, then it deals with them. Which is, is there a reporting the system done. currently? Uh, we don't really need one because it does auto detect people and then handle okay. it itself. Okay. Um, so a we, lot of people. Have, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Jay. Yeah, I was just, just going to say that like we're going to have some like big improvements to the the anti cheat stuff coming soon. Um, cool. Like we totally hear people that it's a problem, and that's our like number one priority right now in terms of what we're adding to the game is is better anti cheat. What else? What else is up there on the list? Or oh, new levels, definitely. New rounds, okay. new ways to play interesting rounds. That's like a huge thing for us right now. It's just just bringing as much variety and as much ridiculousness to the game as possible. Easy call. Now, um, is there... I'm, 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 sorry, go ahead, Kate. I'm just saying, is there going to be... Obviously, we're talking about Season 2 with the announcement yesterday. Is there going to be any further big updates that we can expect in Season 1 before the med uh, like medieval Season 2 levels and skins and stuff come out? <sighs> It's, I don't want to commit because things can go wrong, but we are working on stuff that should drop before season two. So I would expect Ooh. more more fixes and more improvements before then. Any new levels, maybe? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. And then we should have some cool new stuff. Confirmed. Then. Just branching just, off shut of up that. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> He's I, tweeting I, it got... right now. Oliver's tweeting it. Yeah. Uh, just I've branching. Branching off I've of got... that though, are you are you thinking of doing any specialized like? Holiday content, Halloween, Christmas. Ooh, yeah, people love that seasonal content. Yeah, I would be very surprised if we don't do something for like the big holidays of the year. There's just like, even just costumes, like I just want to dress my full guy up in stupid Halloween costumes. For can, I, uh, can I give, can I give you a, a free million dollar idea? Yule guys. <gasps> for Christmas. Oh, that is Yule good. guys, good. it's coming. Confirmed. You're the first person to call it that. Actually, yeah. I like it. Uh, oh, I think I don't think which I'm Which means, by the way, qualified. there is an it. I don't think I'm qualifying. Oh, oh, oh. See what he's done there. Easy oh. qual. I'm not qualifying. Come on. Easy qual. I'm free. I'm done. I'm uh, yeah, the, 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 the Santa uh, costume, over. I can't wait. Elves, reindeers, give, bring them up. Bring, give me all of that. I want it why all. Do, why do people go in the middle on this? I don't understand. That log is just okay, impossible. Okay, so you're, you, that's the second time I've heard that. You're confirming that it's a log and not a Slim Jim or a Cinnamon It stick. is a log. I don't know where, these, where people are getting these ideas it's from. The, it's the log fruit. No, both <laughs> of you have said log one. tonight. I have I have banked that. As soon as Joe said it earlier, I was like, oh. It's a log. He said a Why log. would you think it's anything else? Uh, because the Fall Guys Twitter account says otherwise <laughs> yeah but you and... can't you can't go by anything that that i think if we take says. one thing away from this stream it's that you don't shouldn't believe anything oliver says on twitter i yeah, believe I everything all oliver it. says on twitter <laughs> uh i have one very minor one, one very minor pet peeve that i would like to see fix and i'm sure it's on your list somewhere is when will pc uh users get their uh uh bespoke names back because i'm tired yeah, of being called guy one four seven eight i know it's i know yeah. it's an issue i understand it what's it going to take to fix it um, I think the main thing is, is is just finding a way that allows people to have some control over their names, but doesn't give us the nightmare of having to filter things out and constantly keep updating a list, you know, so right. we, we're trying to find a middle ground there. So it's, it's probably going to be, well, it's, it's really important to us, like, because this game is played by, played by kids and played by younger audiences that we, that we have some, some sort of control over the names that people post. Um, right. You mean you don't uh, want players the with the username have. Squirt and Grannies, which is a memorable one for my first Fall Guys game ever? Yeah, exactly. It's just it's just not really in the spirit of Fall Guys. So like, and, uh, people will have ways to like have a name that has more personality than what it has now, for sure. Yeah. And Ka and Kate will call her character Horny Four Crowns, which is what she calls That's her stream That's my stream, stream title whenever yeah. I play this, because I'm Horny yeah. Four Crowns. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. So on yeah. Sony, on PlayStation, obviously not a problem because Sony already kind of takes care of that for you. Yes, right? you just use yeah, your exactly. name. Unfortunately, Steam yep. names is Steam names is, a, yeah. is the wild west. Yeah. yeah, they're a little more laissez-faire when it comes to this stuff. Oh god. Who do we have in right now? I see Gary. I'm no, are you in as well? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, is and everyone? Oliver. It's just me who's yeah. out. Okay, so, uh, I guess Kate didn't make it. Okay. All right. Oh god, I hate what that party. What happened? 
Oh my god, I'm getting griefed. Fruit I'm getting griefed by another me. tomato. This tomato with like the black suit is messing with me. I don't like it. Don't trust tomatoes in this game. It's the bargain bucket. Uh, crown <laughs> Wait, so the thing that will often kill you in this game when you don't jump and you get oh, no. caught under the you get caught under the plank and dragged, is that deliberate yeah. or is that a glitch? Because it kills no, me all the fucking time. That's a that's a glitch. Okay. Confirmed glitch. Driving it just killed all of it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Glitch. <laughs> um, no one is immune. Question about the patch that we actually just recently saw. You mentioned yep. you had a whole bunch of things that were implemented. That was great. One of them was unable to be implemented, which was auto spectating your team. Any ideas oh, of when we'll be able to have that happen? Uh, I'm not sure yet. We're working on it. Okay. It's one of those things that sounds like it should be very easy, but is actually kind of complicated. Um, Isn't it I just don't pushing a button? It, Come on, it's... that's what game dev is, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That's most of my Twitter replies at the moment. So. All right, here we go. People, some people, one of my favorites is people who tweet lines of code. Like, why don't you yeah. just implement this line of code? Just <laughs> like, oh put this God. in the game. Um, yeah. And then some of the Is it not this like simple? Anti -cheat as well. They were like, why can't you just do this to stop cheaters? And it's like, well. It's a lot it's more complex than that. Than that. Yeah. And then All a, right, we've got to beat 17 nil. Come on. A quick follow up. And this is just something that, that I know Gary and I would both love to see. Um, and it's very much not important, but have you considered on the load screen while you're populating your rounds, having all four of your squad members or two or three falling at the same time? Yeah, yes. we want to drop as a squad. Yes, it hurts me to my very core that that's not implemented and I would love it. It's such <laughs> so, a shame. So it's coming at some point? Yes. Okay, cool. Sure. Again, that, that, doesn't like like went, it, yeah. that doesn't feel like we got to put this fire out priority, yeah. but it's on the list, right? I do yeah. appreciate yeah. Joe's response of, you know what, fine. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, right now we're very much like, the things we're focusing on are things that would stop people playing Fall Guys and never come back. Like, that's right, a right, really right. big thing. Like, cheaters, it's like, that will make people leave Fall Guys and never return, yeah. no matter sure. how awesome our, right, our right, most right. recent content no, is. No, I understand why. No one's, no, one's, no one's quitting the game because they didn't see their squad mates drop, and, but and do you feel like you're a, still important. Is it, an, is it a concern or is it just a nuisance? Like, is it, do you feel like you've got a handle on, on, on how to deal with it? We know, we know how to deal with it. Like, okay. we've got a really solid plan and we're just executing it now. That's awesome. It's good to hear. But that's that's not to say that we'll never have any cheaters again. Like these kinds of things are always a bit of a cat and mouse like race when it comes to cheaters. What a goal! Turns that out was a nice one. Cheaters are very smart. Are you yeah. are you comfortable uh, in this game I'm with the right tactic now. that's developed <laughs> of just like like if you just stand at the halfway line, you can just head it in from the halfway line pretty effectively? Is that something you need to address, or again, it's all part of the game? Uh, yeah, but like people don't do enough of grabbing around the center circle because you can stop the other team doing That's it true. by grabbing them. Like it's a, it's a physical game. Yeah, grabbing is so underused on full ball. It's ridiculous. Like people haven't really discovered it yet. Like grabbing the right. goalie, throwing people off. All of that oh stuff my god! Is just like oh, look at that! Two at once. How are we so good? We're killing. You're oh, just better. People, <laughs> people are stop playing. This this uh, woolly mammoth is. Yeah, over it. He's done. He's done. Aww. Hello. Give him a hug. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Nice work, team. That this was a good one. Sounds like it's going to be a, a final right now. So yeah. I've, I've seen finals in as few as three rounds and potentially as many as seven rounds. Is it possible to go up to seven? Yeah, I saw that too the other day. I have no idea why that would happen like to, to give a bit of like oh, oh god humble yeah get ready Kate. To give it a background I'm not in it, Gary. The, the way it kind of works oh, that's right. that it mostly <laughs> looks at it mostly looks at player count and then it adds a weighting to each round based on the current player count and then it also looks at the round that you've already currently played and tries to like filter them out right so if you played jump club you're probably not going to play jump showdown as the final round right um, I've a... that's the general system um but it's there are just because it's a waiting system sometimes it can do weird things and we're going to kind of be like working on it to reduce the amount of weirdness that it can possibly he's in the middle i see i get yeah oh no someone, I'm no, someone else has got it now the purple guy's got it i have a question i, think it's just I have a question from the reason. chat that i'm going to paraphrase because i can't like look at it right now um a lot of people a lot of been a, a, a lot of chatter around that five trophy in a row or five crown in a row trophy or uh, achievement 
Are you surprised? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, have you been surprised at um, how many people have been getting it or how few? Or Obviously, really, really hard to get, but some people are getting it. Yeah, we had Neil Druckmann get it. I Druckmann yeah, got I, it, yeah. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! I got you just tail. took it from Joe! Oh, I, no, I, I, I I'll, I'll, I'll take it from anyone. He doesn't care. We're not... This isn't a team game. <laughs> give me, give Wait, me that tell you, fucking that, unicorn. Is that Oliver? That's Oliver. No, no, I'm out. Oh, that's not oh, Oliver. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got oh, it. See, if only, seconds. if only there were custom names, I would know who's on my team. Yeah. <laughs> if, only, if, only, if only the devs would fucking get on the job. Press the Just button. Just push the there. button. It's so easy. No, no, he's got it. Pink oh. bastard. Joe. Joe. Go oh, Gary. No. Apple. Tomato. Gary's Five got seconds. it. Gary's got it. Uh, 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 oh. No, you son of a. How does it feel, Gary? How does it feel? Oh, no. Damn it. It was the other tomato. How does it feel? And it's the same bastard that was griefing me on block party as well. I fucking had it. Oh, that can feels we, can, so good. Okay, can I can I suggest a can I suggest a, a change? Oh. If you still have the tail with one second left on the clock, you can just fucking have it. How about that? No, that was delicious. Ow. That's not what you were saying earlier when you stole it from Kay. I'm not you happy about shoot, that. Gary. Oh. I, 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 and the thing that makes me sad is I know that Kate is loving that. I am eating all of this up right now. She's it feels loving so every good. moment of Delicious. it. I thought I had it. <laughs> and, and and this is one of these things where you got to feel like you almost just kind of like, because there's no way to design for that, right? And yet so many of those tail grabs seem to happen in literally the last second, like those incredible clip worthy moments, right? Like you can't design for that. And yet there it is. Or can you? I don't know. Uh, Are you, it's just, it's just yeah. nutty. Yeah, I mean, like, generally what we're designing for is p potential for these things to happen. Like, designing systems in a way that can combine in interesting ways is, is, is the goal. So, like, you don't design specifically for things, but you design you, very generic mechanics that can be used in lots of interesting ways. Right. And then you just sort of let the game take over and hope for the best. Um, yeah, it's a nightmare to try and get it all working, but I'm, I'm very pleased with where we ended up. A really, a, a really fun aspect of the game is people love the costumes, they love the skins. Um, what kind of effort is going on? Like, how much of that is the effort to kind of make sure that you're keeping the store uh, fresh with with fun new things? Because that, you know, that, that, that's a lot of work too, right? Coming up with the ideas for them, implementing them, deploying them. Um, what, the, what, you know, what kind of, what kind of effort is going on there, and and what? Like, what do you want to see going forward in terms of the, the costumes and the skins and stuff? Yeah, so I think the art team are like hard at work on the medieval stuff at the moment. We've got some right. really, really cool medieval costumes coming, like the ones that we teased in the trailer, plus a bunch more as well coming after that. So it's not just um, the four so we saw. Like... Oh, no, 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 there's more than that. Oh. Um, Kate's so very excited really about cool. the witch. I am people excited about that witch. So excited yeah. about that witch costume. I want the dragon. That's what I want. Yeah, the dragon. I want the dragon as well. Um, but that, yeah, they're really they're they're really working on that stuff, and then a bunch of other cool like exciting things that are coming up that hopefully we can talk about soon, and then just like really injecting the store with like even more content really because people are like chewing through it like. There's nothing for me to buy today. Paste. There's nothing really? for me to buy That's... in my store. It just says coming soon. Oh that's, yeah, that's been sooner than we thought, right? Yeah. Yeah. And actually, we thought we had enough stuff in there for months, and people have just absolutely blitzed it. Just about the you... skins thing. Do you have any plans to do like crossovers with? We were discussing this maybe last night with like you know Marvel skins or movie IPs or other video games. Even you've got the exclusive deal with Sony right now. Do you have any plans to have exclusive Sony IP skins? Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> little Nathan Drake running around. <laughs> With just a big, um, big butt. We've got some exciting things coming up that we haven't announced. Any yeah. idea of when you're going to be able to announce them? Can you tease a little bit of it today? Come on. What are you here for just, if not just to a little, break, <laughs> just break a, some headlines? As a treat. As a treat. You're here. You're here. Came all this way. They're thinking about it. I, think, I don't know what we can say. Joe, what can you say? I, we haven't actually confirmed any of them yet, so it'd be very unprofessional of me to announce something which isn't actually oh, yeah, maybe going to happen. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Oh, f f sh Are you in the slime? I saw someone just go in. <gasps> Sounds like Joe's gone. Oh, yeah, it looks that way. Game. 
<laughs> do, you a, do you have a philosophy on um, paid DLC? I know that you you launched out of the box with a with a couple of little DLC packs, which I bought immediately. Um, oh, thank you very much. Are you? Are you? I mean, how much? Like, what do you have a philosophy towards? Like, how much you want to monetize the game with with the paid cosmetics? Like, where's where, where's the sweet spot with something like that? Um, I think, I think currently, like having a couple packs in there for people who want some really cool costumes instantly is is something we'll continue to do. But it's very important for us to not overload the store with stuff because, like, the game is a huge success, and it, for us to just then pile more paid stuff into the game is 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 silly like it just isn't isn't what people want from the game and it's very apparent to users that we're not struggling right now as a studio you know so right like you'll we'll definitely still see more but i we're gonna keep the cadence fairly low on on how many we add what's the mood like around the studio right now is everyone just euphoric or are they like too exhausted to to celebrate like what's what's it like in the office right now <sighs> well i mean it's very quiet in the office because we're all sat at home <laughs> oh well yeah yeah right. of course Good point. Yeah, but but uh, I would say it's it's a mixed bag. Like some people have really. Oh my god! I just saw some guy jump off of a hammer. I saw <laughs> that. That's that that crazy. Easy I didn't know you could do that. Oh my god! Um, Racking up the easy quads on slime climb these days. Yeah, yeah getting good I at it. it twice. Yeah, sorry. Like some people are very energized by it, and some people it, it are more drained at this point in development. Like it kind of goes either way. But I would say most people are pretty exhausted but also very excited by, by what's going on right now i think it's it's very kind of overstimulating like you just wake up every day and there's like more stuff and everything is so much more visible and all your mistakes are like very very clear and there are hundreds of thousands of people playing it's um say quite intense time i would say oliver how does it yeah and usually at like launch you all kind of get to sort of celebrate it together in the same place and we haven't really been able to do that obviously at the moment so it's quite unusual. yeah that's a bummer how does it feel to see the numbers coming in from how many steam downloads and how many what is it seven million downloads on playstation something nuts like that and a similar amount over on steam how does it feel to go from nothing in 2018 to suddenly having millions upon millions of downloads of your game yeah you guys were nothing in 2018 <laughs> wow gary <laughs> you were nothing uh, it's a very overwhelming i would say like i think for us the or at least personally for me it was when we found out that the game had like made its its revenue back its, its dev budget back was a huge huge relief because there's just so much pressure like all of this money that's being spent on your idea and all of this money that's being spent on marketing and shows and press and uh, it's just it builds the pressure really builds and you don't really realize it until someone tells you that it was all worth it in the end and then suddenly it's just like oh my god and it's also, it's, it's award season coming up as well. And Gary and I firmly believe that Fall oh, Guys oh, yeah. is in contention gotta, for Game of the Year. It's, I mean, it's not in contention for my Game of the Year. It is Game it, of the It's year. Game of the Year, but we, we think as far as nominees and stuff go, you're going to be seeing a lot of them pouring yeah. in for Game of the Year for Fall Guys. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Knowing that you have <laughs> awards yeah. coming, like it's not even oh, an yeah. if, if at you this don't point. Have, if, if you don't have a tux, get one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Or at least a virtual I'm one. I'm telling it, you right now. It might gonna, be a virtual you're, you're gonna be, you're award gonna be in show. that conversation big time. And you're going to win a ton of awards. You are. There's no question. How do you it's feel about game. that? We can't, we can't be. This game is a joke. It's just stupid. But, but that's, it, that's listen, the best part of it, that's though. That's why you know, we talked about this a lot. This, some, some games come along right when they're needed. Like Animal Crossing was a game that came along right when we needed it, right? Because the world sucks. By the way, I'm just about to drop off a golden egg. That's another one in there. Nice. We're killing it right now. Um, you know, an Animal Crossing offered a distraction from the shit that was going on in the real world. This is another game that's doing that right now. It's just fun for fun's sake. You know, I've said it before. Go on Twitch, go on streams, and tell me when was the last time you saw that many people having that much fun? You guys really have created something magical here, and you, you should be applauded for it. Oh. Shut up, it's not to say. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just it. The, the idea of any awards is, is so mental. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oliver, I'm, I don't know what to say. I want, I want to hear the Oliver, uh, Oliver acceptance speech where he just trolls everybody. <laughs> just your best spicy tweet. 
I don't know, it all does feel super, super weird. Like every day I think this is it with peaks. This is the best thing that's going to happen. And then something else the next day just happens and you're like, wow, okay, well, this is even bigger. And it's just, it continuously feels like that. Like even the way Jeff just seems so hyped up on the stream yesterday, it was still like really amazing. <laughs> was that like Fall Guys was one of the main sort of points of, of the uh, opening night live. And that sort of just blew us away. Hey, uh, is this the first time that Hexagon's popped for us? I think yep. it is. I'm so who's, jealous. Who's in? Who's in? I'm in. Joe's I'm not, in. right? I'm out. Oh, it's just me and Kate? Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to make I'm down. I'm, I'm dead. I, I'm not. I've only ever won one crown on this game. Well, then this is a good time to ask um, Joe wow. and Oliver. No! <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. This is a good time right. to ask Joe and Oliver, as you're saying yeah. things are getting bigger and bigger, about the charity thing that's been going on on Twitter for the last little while. This battle of brands or streamers or whoever has the most money going towards uh what is it special effects can you tell us a bit about yes. what's going on there so we had all these like brands doing their own versions of fall guys and it would have been like really easy for us just to sort of take all this money and put all these brands in but that's something we didn't really want to do we wanted to try and turn into something more positive and so we thought yeah why don't we partner with a charity and kind of uh whoever bids the highest amount of money gets their skin in the game and we never really expected it to go just as crazy as it has done it's just right, got to howl on you uh i'm out i just oh we're, okay we're all out then yeah. i'm going out god damn it so how, how high do you think that's gonna go i have no idea it's already way past what we thought it would get to you said this morning it reached what half a million yeah yeah with uh, ninja and aim lab that's amazing and so how much longer is that going for uh, it's till monday so we're in the last few days now and you're so, committed you will build whatever skin the highest bidder uh, uh, demands is that correct yeah i mean i'm assuming within reason if they put a giant <laughs> dick reason, on yeah. the front maybe not yeah, but yeah, well like a giant, giant scrotum or something i yeah that could we sell really well in the store package. you need you need more content for the store so maybe just put a giant scrotum on the front i mean you could do it the top part could be the cock and the bottom half could be the balls People would what buy you that. that. I mean, it would be the number one selling skin in the game. There's no question. <laughs> I think we lost them. Uh, uh, this is yeah. when they both tuned out uh, and they're Oliver like, why did we do this? The chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and can you tell no, us I've... about the charity that uh, the money is going towards? <clears throat> yes, there's a charity we've worked with before. Uh, we're, they're, they're really, really awesome. They. Um, they help out people with disabilities to play video games by like helping them with like hardware that they need uh, and stuff like that. And they're based in the UK as well? Yeah. Wonderful. And I guess if people want to check that out on their own and potentially donate on their own, not maybe matching Ninja for donations of half a million dollars, uh, they can find special effects online. I love it. All right, back to oh god, okay, dizzy. I think pro I think this is probably the. What do you, what do you think is the like the most forgiving, the easiest? Like you should be embarrassed if you didn't qualify out of this first round round in the game. I feel like DoorDash. Think... Really, I think. Yeah. I, for me, Dizzy Heights is like the most like deterministic of the gauntlets. Like if you just execute a plan, there isn't really that much that can go wrong. Although well, there are some great clips of people oh, getting okay. fucked at the finish that. line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That finish line is probably the worst bit. Mm. But that's something we deliberately kind of do as well. That like there should always be something right at the finish line that can screw right. you over. Right. Because it just it just <laughs> makes it so much more fun to know that it could all go wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah, fun. You know, not only for the people that are like, not only for the people who were there and get to experience that moment on stream or whatever, but for like the people at the back who have like ended up in the bottom section of the spinning discs, like. There's still this feeling of like if everybody just gets absolutely nutted by one of those like balls which is what's happening to me at the moment there we go oh yeah like mm -hmm. there's still a chance there's still a shot and that's that's really important i think i'm, I'm looking for you just now oh did we all I'm, qualify I'm through yeah fruit okay good good easy call easy call is there any plans to bring this to mac by any chance Ooh, that's, that's a, a question, question, question we don't get very often. On I Steam, a lot of games are on Mac as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do, not I, not really. No, if I'm honest. But if the demand is there, if we hear enough of it, then it'll it'll definitely take off. You start a petition. 
<laughs> one thing we get more than Mac is like super, super wide screens, but nobody on the dev team has a screen as wide as that. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to try and figure that out. And of course, we're already Samsung seeing the uh, we're already seeing the dodgy mobile knockoffs, right? Everyone's <laughs> ca everyone's cashing in on your success or trying to at least. Yeah, I've not seen a good one yet. I've just seen really, really terrible ones that are quite funny. Yeah. I've seen I've seen the a few. most amazing thing I've seen. Yeah, the most amazing thing I've seen are the dreams ports of the game. Oh, they're doing it in dreams. People have started making their own new levels in dreams and they're actually pretty good. <laughs> um, so right here we go. That does that Come does on. that does uh, provoke the question and people some people ask it in the chat. Is there down there? Obviously, it's like way down the road, but is there any potential for any kind of level designer or a potential for people to kind of cook up their own levels in this game down the road? What do you think? I think of all the features we've talked about, that's probably the hardest one for us to do. Mm -hmm. Right. But but there is like designing these obstacle courses is so fun. And I think there is just such a high demand for people who want to have a go because they've got all these ideas for like cool courses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it would be crazy for us not to at least look into it. Like it, it's hugely complex and we don't have, you know, we don't have the team or the budget of studios like Bungie with their amazing, you know, Halo uh level editors and stuff back in the day like we just can't execute something like that right now but down the line you never know oh get off what are you doing <laughs> oh my God. i almost got you so close how oh. do you feel about this level oh i love this level i you quite do? like it yeah i have sometimes mixed feelings feel about really it relaxing and then other times it's just very hectic i love it. yeah i'm I've always had... on the lookout for someone standing near a ledge that i can like ruin their day i've had some that oh. have really really dragged on because the last player just will not go and then yeah, it always ends know. up being like me. Yeah, and then it's me, the one that goes. Yeah, it's like fine, I'll do it <laughs> for the good of the group. So everyone else can get on with it. I'll go. <laughs> and I, I know I know that this is the case. I'm just double double checking it. The the sizes of the of the bespoke, the individual costumes that you work don't in any way affect the hitbox, right? The hitbox is the is the default beam. Is that correct? Uh, if you wear the scout, you run ten percent faster. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. No! Oh, no! Yes! Just, you just, you just combobulated me so much with that trickery that I just fell right through the fucking oh roller. None of, none of the costumes make any difference. Okay. Oh. You sold it, though, for a second. I was like, wait, what? I know, that's why I was like, you almost, you almost had, had me. That. Imagine like, if we had done that. That's you what I was, when we were talking about hackers, it's, I think, the perfect hack for this game would be not the flying, not the whatever, but just go just a little bit faster. So you can't get caught out, but somehow you just run a tiny bit faster than everybody else. Uh, I actually have a really interesting uh, question from the chat. Leishin asks, and there's a broader question here about you know accessibility, which is a big conversation in games right now. Uh, uh, asking, asking about things like colorblind mode. Is that something that's on your, on your to-do list? Yeah, definitely. That's one of the highest things actually is colorblind mode. Like it comes under the moniker of making sure this game can be played by as many people as possible. You know, we've worked really hard to make sure the game has simple controls so that it's a very easy game to pick up and play. And we wouldn't be being true to the moniker of making a game that's easy to pick up and play if we didn't improve our our, our accessibility things, which are not great at the moment, admittedly. What I mean, aside from a colorblind mode, because this is a very colorful game, what are some of the other things that you would need to do or want to do to improve accessibility? I think a big one is not be, you can't remap controls to the mouse and that's a really big thing for people who have or who aren't able to play a game with like a standard keyboard and mouse setup and need to right. remap things in order to be able to right. play. Right. Um, the other one that I'd really like to do is an auto camera for people as well. I think okay. that would be fantastic, yeah. Because some people there's just dual analog sticks is, is a nightmare and it was a huge debate actually. We really were really worried about adding um, dual analog camera support Get out of here, to Joe. the game. Uh, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh, Kate across the finish go. line, no problems. Not yet. Oh no, oh, she's gonna wait and troll? Come on, Kate, don't be that person. Oh my god. Is this Joe coming up? Come on, yes. don't yeah, he's across the line. Don't don't be that. Oh. Don't be that. He don't trolled that me! Person, don't uh, don't let the hate flow through you. Do not. So I, I have a friend who plays this, and he's a big griefer on this level. And I asked him why. And he said because I got griefed one time, and, and it just it turned into the dark side. <laughs> like you know, you, every time you grief someone, you create another griefer, and you perpetuate yeah. this cycle. Yeah, I've seen some great memes around the like Anakin and Obi Wan by the oh, lava. Oh, for sure. It's basically the same as our. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Twinkie. It's true. It's very true. Is Oliver getting grief the high ground? Line? I'm griefing. Get him. Get I'm him. Trying. Throw him off the edge. He's gonna get me. Yeah, remapping keys is a good one. I'm left-handed. I mean, I wouldn't play this with the mouse and keyboard anyway, but I always, when I play like a shooter, I always map my, remap my keys because I have my mouse on the left. Gonna get him. Oh, no. Okay. Do you, have, by the way, do you have any, because I find this fascinating. Kate was playing with mouse and keyboard for a while. Now she switched to a controller. Do you have any data on, on, on the PC side? Like how many people play with mouse and keyboard versus a controller? Uh, I don't think we don't have actually. that information, yeah. I didn't even it's think possible. of playing with yeah. a controller until people made fun of me for playing with mouse and keyboard. Oh god, it's a miss impossible mouse and keyboard. I won my I first crown on mouse and keyboard. Did you did. really? Yeah, yeah. But, but after you switch controller, you would never you would never go back, right? No, for sure. I mean if I had to, I would, but Who's who's all still in at this point? I'm I am. In. Yeah. Gary, are you still in? Uh I can't remember, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> I am not. I'm okay, not still in. So it's the three of us. Oh, the good I, don't think we've, I don't think we've had a complete squad survive into uh, Fall Ball yet. Yeah, with the first oh. one we did. I even called it out. Oh, it was it was the first one? Okay. I always feel like there's someone... Oh, it was a huge one. It was like 20 people or something. Yeah, it was like a 10v10. Is there a max uh, size on Fall Ball? Team size? I think it's 10v10. Okay. So pr pretty much like a full Premier League game. Also, yeah, thank you much. very much for patching oh. out uneven teams. Oh. Oh, that was my biggest, that was my big, I was like, okay, okay, how many times was I screaming? If you cannot split the teams evenly, don't split them. And, yeah. they, and they fixed it. <laughs> Very happy about yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's been, that, and that's, that's a classic example of, oh no, come on guys, sort it out. Um, <laughs> that's a classic example of like, um, oh, just, just make them not uneven, but it, it has really big knock-on effects for how often team games come up, you right. know, like. Right. We're already seeing at the moment that team games are a lot rarer than they used to be, and I'm sure that will make some people very happy. But oh no no no! We oh, need to understand. God. Oh god! What is right. um? I'm 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 curious. What is going on with the algorithm that's deciding what you play next? Is it totally random, or is it is it taking into account how many times something's already spawned? So it's like okay, that's already spawned a bunch of times. Let's not do it again. Like what's how complicated is is the is the algorithm that's deciding what you play next? I've seen a lot of people that think there are different playlists for different days of the week. Which I thought was quite okay. interesting. And so and it's people not are the sure case. that that's how it worked. Um, I might leave it. I might leave it ambiguous for now. Maybe. Well, um, you get that with like the lottery, where there's like a, an octopus that picks numbers or something. Like, <laughs> oh whenever yeah. Whenever something completely random, people just sort of see patterns in it. Now you yeah. can tell how much you're missing me in this game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Struggling. It's not good. Come on, guys. Get okay, there's yes. this one. Oh. Yeah, they just scored there. Oh, football. Let's go, Golden Egg. No. no. This is a football. That's an American football. Sorry, uh, I'm Canadian. I should really know better. Somebody just asked something about adjusting the camera sensitivity on the PlayStation. That's something yes. that, that you just patched, right? So we added camera sensitivity, but we were mainly doing it for people who thought the camera was too fast. Okay. Uh, we didn't realize quite how many people wanted it to be even faster than it already was. Oh no, what's going on? We're not doing oh, so well, are we? Oh, there's one. Bang. Yeah, you're struggling yeah, there. You're not going to pull this off. No. We could do this. We could do it. Come on. No, we Never can't. know. No, we we can't. Get Oliver, Oliver, press the golden egg button. Now we can't. Yeah. Oh. Too late. Damn it. <laughs> he was just reaching for it as well. Yeah. All right, I've got time for one more game. Okay, sounds okay. good. One, la one last round chat. and then we'll call it. We've had two great hours with you guys. Thank you so much. It's been it's super fun. fun. No, this has been really, really... I I've learned a lot about the game from talking to you both. And again, I do want to thank uh, all of you at Fall Guys for your support on the show so far. Because it seems like oh, yeah, you guys you're terrific. excited about it. We've been excited about it. And that's been really, really fun for us. Yes. Yeah, not immediately get shut really down cool. by the yeah. game. <laughs> Honestly, because we, you know, the whole time like, you know, on Animal Talking, we're like, is Nintendo going to shut us down? We don't know. Then they started scheduling server maintenance during the one hour a week when the show's on the air. It's like, these guys just don't give a shit. And that's fine. You know, why should they? They don't need us. But but to, to go from that to from this, where, you, where, you, where, you've, where you've been really supportive and here you are playing the game with us, we really appreciate that. No, it's, it's awesome. We'd love to see it. It's really cool. I'm just coming back. I thought I was still in the final. Oh yeah, why, why am I even watching this? I, know. I, have, I, I, I have played a couple of games where I like, started playing thinking, why is the guy not doing what I want him to do? And it's because I'm spectating. All right, final round. Let's do final this. round. Last chance to ask any questions for Joe and Oliver, if you're uh, anyone in the chat. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, do you, okay, please ask if they have any stats on yellow team losing games. Do you have any statistics to to to, uh, to uh, back up the notion that uh, bashing yellow team on social media has turned into a self fulfilling prophecy? It's a it's a myth. <laughs> the yellow team wins just as many games as everybody else. Um, okay, then speaking of yellow team, uh, I know there's a theory out there that people who spawn into yellow team are primarily solo players, not in squads. Can you confirm or deny? So, so that was true, but we fixed it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, ultra wide support. I'm just going to throw these at you. When nobody uh, on has an ultra wide setup. So if like Samsung are watching and want to send us all ultra wide monitors, <laughs> we can fix this issue for everybody. Uh, uh, yeah, listen, I, I like, I like, I like, I like, I, I admire the hustle. That's a smart answer. Are you going um, to have uh, official Fall Guys merchandise anytime soon? Yes. When? Lots of, oh. When? I don't know when, but we're, we're having lots of conversations. I, I've it seen is, your, it, it, it is a when, not an if. Come I've on now. I've seen your totally, yeah. totally legit, not at all a knockoff t-shirt. Oh yeah, I can't talk about that officially. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, yeah. will season. Speaking of uh, things to purchase, uh, will season two pass cost money? Hell no. Nice. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Are you gonna, so you're gonna leave in-game paid purchases? It's just the DLC. Yeah, absolutely. No paid season pass in Fall Guys anytime soon. Nice. Uh, another question from the chat: What football team do you both support? Football. Blue. <laughs> Fall football. Uh, uh, right. My brother sports Liverpool, and I've been I've been indoctrinated into the cult of Jurgen Klopp. So I'm a Liverpool fan. It, it is it is a cult for sure. Very charismatic man. He's great. Um, I love him. Uh, uh, this is a this is a big one. Uh, split screen or uh, or couch co-op? Is that anything that is appropriate for this game? Is that on your mind oh. at all? I can candidly say that the game barely runs as it is, let alone <laughs> in split screen. It's a miracle that we made this thing work. So the split screen is, is super complicated and there's a reason that you only see massive games with huge budgets doing split screen. And there's a reason that it took Fortnite, what, two years after launch to add it? Sure. It's hugely complex and it's a ton, a ton of work. So I wouldn't expect it anytime soon, but we definitely understand that people want it because Fall Guys is such a fun game to play with other people. So um, maybe one day. Uh, Tiago Ferrari asks, can you please ask, what's their opinion about increasing the squad size? Is there is there any any design uh, desire to uh, create bigger squads, or is four the right number? Well, you've got to worry about like, people griefing if there was like squads of like ten people or something. Yeah, you couldn't ruin it for everyone else. Um, yeah, we we went with four because it's like the standard number that people know and that people come to expect, but. I think there's probably room to increase it slightly, but we, yeah, all of us right that we have to be very careful not to go too far because people will start ruining games for everybody else. Here's a good question from Toby Blue. I didn't think about this. Will Will there be any kind of upgrade for PlayStation Five? Oh, um, sounds like maybe you haven't thought of it either. Sure. Oh shit! There's a PlayStation Five. I mean, is there? Like, does anyone know <laughs> anything? It's about up for it? it's Nobody... up for pre-order with no price. I um. I uh, I signed up for the email yesterday that said, click here and maybe we'll send you an email when you can maybe order one, probably, possibly, but we don't know. <laughs> but we're not going to tell you it. how much it yeah, costs. Is, uh, yeah, no, when it's coming out or what it costs or what it does or what it even is, but you can maybe get it. Nice. Grape, melon, cherry. Oh, I'm not Apple. paying attention. Tomato, grape, cantaloupe. I'm already out. Oh, shit. Great. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. I'm following the crowd because I'm not paying attention. Uh, here, when you when, here's when you say it barely runs as it is, Joe. I mean, obviously on PC, it's a wide range of system specs. Is it? I mean, it, is it maxing out the the base PlayStation 4 the the game in terms of the performance? Yeah, getting it running on PlayStation 4 was was really hard. Um, that was one of the biggest challenges of development, really. Cherry, apple, orange. God, Shit. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna Thanks, go with Joe. I'm gonna go with Joe Ghost. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, this is safe. Yeah, every, but one of my favorite clips that you see on the on the weekly recaps is when one guy is on a tile, everyone's on the other tile. He's like, wait, do I have this wrong? Jumps over to the other tile and that, and they all had it wrong. Yeah. And he had it right. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it's, there's, love there's some interesting social engineering going on there, I think. Is there any chance of playing the game kind of in an offline way if people just wanted to run through and do like practice rounds of a, of a specific level? So I think the whole game is architected to run online and i think people 
having training, I think, is it goes against the spirit of the game a little bit. I think you need to play and you need to wait for those levels to come up and you need to train with other people around. Like, Fall Guys is about the chaos. It's about the madness that other people bring. Um, so, like, if you want to get good at levels, you've just got to play the game and get good like everybody else. Uh, so no plans for training mode anytime soon. Okay, cool. and, and again, like you can you could run that course all day, but it's never going to teach you how to deal with the 50 other players that are trying to mess with you, right? Exactly. Rollout is easy, but it's the other people you've got to worry about. It's Joe you, you have to worry about. Whether, whether or not you would yeah. even want to or why, but like, could you ever imagine bots in this game? We did oh. used to have them for like the events and stuff when we first were showing it, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eliminated someone. Oh, Joe, okay. what, 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 if you can make, if you can make, oh, if you can make, oh, I, I, I messed myself up. What's going up. on over there? Wait, did you go down too? That's karma. No, oh, okay. I survived. He's, he's up here me. with me. Just me. Oh, did Kate get knocked? Yeah, I was trying to take Joe out and then I yeah, like, see, I'm karma'd telling myself. You, you don't go down that the dark path because forever will it dominate your destiny. <laughs> exactly. Joe, if you could wave a magic wand right now in terms of anything you could impl implement into the game, what would, what would it be? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I'm good at my job. There is something that we're working on that is so cool. Oh, that oh, oh, hopefully, oh, oh. will come soon. Oh, that, no, like, no. I saw, I saw, I saw some stuff of today in our in our Slack group. <laughs> if I could have it in the game tomorrow, like my god, that is the thing I would bring. Can to you the game. can you hint at you it a little a, bit? Give us a crumb, a breadcrumb, as a treat. Uh, it, it, there's something in it that's na been named Big Yeetus by the team. Oh, I saw it's that. Big Yeetus? Big yeah. Yeetus, yeah. It has Oliver knows to what I'm talking about. Name. Now that is very it's compelling so information. It is very cool. How busy is your Slack channel at the moment? <laughs> oh, it's too many channels in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. How many? We have, I'm probably in, what, like 50 Slack groups or something? Yeah, Just for this game? And there are people. <laughs> it's true. Oh, <laughs> oh God. This is one of those rounds that's like it's gonna drag. It's only the good three, people three, left. Three more to go, and it's gonna it's gonna drag on. Yeah. Oh god, oh! no! Da, 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 da. That was Are you still up? Joe. Joe just tried to get you off the map. I didn't realize it was. Still, you. I, I, no, I, I, he's like way across the map from me. Oh, right maybe now. I'm spectating it. Qualified. <laughs> the exact same tomato. Then. Let's, yes! let's let's finish on a crown. Oh, that was so good. Just threw a ninja into the slime. No, you're the tomato with green arms, right? Gary. Uh, yes, I am. Then he definitely I'm... did just. Oh, okay. Try right. to throw yeah, him off the right. map. I, I think that happened, and then we separated out quickly. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 don't take it personally. Are there any plans for other logic levels like Perfect Match? Yeah, I would like to do some, but it's it's fairly clear that Perfect Match is maybe not everybody's favorite level right now. So we're not in a mad rush to add more of them, but we have some great ideas for other logic theme levels. I think we'll we should improve Perfect Match first. But I love it. What do you need to do to improve Perfect Match? <sighs> I think the the pacing of it is slightly is slightly off. I think it just needs slightly less waiting around time and more. Oh no! Oh, just want to save. Come on! No! Oh, it's off the crossbar! Come on! There we go. I think it just needs it needs to be more of those exciting moments where loads of people get eliminated and slightly less. Um, Slightly less waiting around, staring at the timers. It's funny um, talking about old, you know, talking about it's a knockout, a game show that I remember as a kid, but everyone else is probably too young to remember. There was another one, an old kids' game show called Run Around, mm -hmm. that um, Run Perfect around. Match reminds me of. And it was a bunch of kids like you know selecting what they thought was the right answer on a tile, and then they had the really? option, to, yeah, and then they had the option to kind of change their mind. Yeah, go, uh, yeah, really? go, you go YouTube it. You'll you'll find it. It's like an old BBC show, like from the 1980s. See, the thing one, is of the, one of the original ideas for Perfect Match was that we'd be showing like long multiplication or something, and then you'd all have to get standard <laughs> oh, number. Oh, no. <laughs> Quadratic equations. <laughs> and then everyone reminded me that maths ah. is not fun. No. And that, that would be a terrible idea. It would be very bad. So, all right, come on, guys. Focus now. Let's get a win. Oh, oh God. They just, no. Oh, no. That's not the desired effect. I'm struggling now. I'm not playing well. Oh, yeah, That's the problem. Make any. Come when you start any, players having an off to... day, you're going to struggle. Two nil. Shit. We need, we need Jurgen on board. We do. We need, we need some clap. We need a clap. Half time pep talk. Oh, oh no, 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 no. no. Time. It's okay, you got a minute left. We need Fergie time as well. Oh fucking bastard! Yeah, we okay. need all I'm, sorts I'm, of time here. I'm doing what I can. Fifty seconds is a long time in this game. 
Yep. Oh, God. Oh, we're struggling, man. Yeah. Oh, it's just, they're everywhere. No! Oh, come uh, on, French fry. Ah! I, th I feel like Blue's just good. Like, they've got a good organization here. Yeah. This is squeaky bum time. It's just squeaky yeah, it's squeaky bum. Well, it's not because we're just losing. <laughs> this is just sad bum time. Oh, get off! We should I should love... take grabbing out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I love hearing the devs get upset at their own game. Yeah, they start cursing their own game. Yeah. Who, like, who's responsible for this? <laughs> what idiot. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Oh, we're done. Oh, it seems oh, so sad to go out on a loss. Oh, and we just yeah. had one going in as well. Seems Why do pineapples turn white on team games? That's a good question. Oh, that's a bug. That's a bug. Oh, it's a bug? Okay. Yeah, that's not deliberate. It seems so sad to uh, end on a uh, on a loss. I know. Didn't even make it to the final round. Uh, Adam oh, Nicholson, good, yeah. who works on the back end of the show, I'll give, him, I'll, I'll give the last question to him. What about four guys in go-karts or any sorts of vehicles? <laughs> <laughs> it's a separate Jaws. game, actually. That's four guys. I mean, four, four, guys four guys kart race are yeah. coming soon, right? Four kart. Crazier, crazier things have happened. I need to get out of this. Oh, this I have. Dumb... I have one more question. Uh, any plans to expand the music in the game? Because the music is terrific. But do you have fantastic. any additional songs cool. coming? Oh, can you imagine what four guys would sound like with medieval instruments? Is that a little hint for well, season two? Yeah. We may not. I, I, just, are you saying we may not have to imagine much longer? I'm just asking if you guys can imagine it. I'm I absolutely <laughs> can, and I would very much like to see that on season yeah, two. Me too. That would be cool, wouldn't it? That was fantastic. Well, Oliver and Joe, thank you so much um, for being for very generous with, with your time as well. Oh my God, you were you were fantastic guests, and actually, I learned um, a ton about the, this oh, game that we have come to love so much. Thank you, you've been, you've been great sports and really fun to play with and just fascinating. Just like so much great information. It's been really, really enjoyed playing and talking with you. Thank you both. Oh, no problem, anytime. I mean, like, th I, I could truthfully say that we've like only scratched the surface on the amount of like dev stories that we have and like oh, little, I'm, I'm little sure. things. Like, then you are we welcome to come week. back. You are welcome to come <laughs> oh, back anytime. Not Awesome. We'll have you. We'll definitely have you. Well, look, come back for season two. We'll, we'll play some season two and play and play uh, some medieval stuff. Oh, well, let's do it. I love yeah. it. All right, it's in. It's in the books. It's going to happen. Um, nice Oliver, Joe. So Twitch Rivals is happening right now, right? That's that's. Yeah, that's where going. I'm going now. Yeah. Okay. So go enjoy Twitch Rivals. Uh, try to find some time. I don't know how you're going to do it, but try to find some time to you know, exercise some self care and relax and and just enjoy this moment. You've created this incredible game. I know you're super busy, you know, like, trying to catch up with the success that you're that you're having, but have fun. Like enjoy enjoy, enjoy this moment. They're few and far between. Oh, Good yeah, advice. thanks very much. We will. Cheers. We will. Thank, Thank you, you both. Thank you, Thank you, Oliver. you both. Uh, Joe, Oliver, let's get let's get some love in the chat for Joe and Oliver, the creators of uh, Game of the Year in my book. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Oh, thanks very much, guys. <laughs> Thank you both. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. All right, Joe. That was amazing. And, uh, that was great, right? How much fun was that? It was terrific. I loved it. That was really, really fun. I like. I've just like that, that to me. And like, don't, don't get me wrong. Lupo last night was great as well. But like, that's what Talk Guys is all about. Just like a really good conversation. Learned a lot about the game. We had fun playing. You got a crown. I did. You got one too. Uh, and Joe I, I, got one. No, you and Joe got one. I didn't get one this session. Did you not? I thought you did. No, I came uh, close a couple of times. We didn't get one for Oliver. We didn't get Oliver's first crown. I feel like we gotta keep having him back until- I know, until we get him his first <laughs> until crown. Until he gets one. He probably doesn't uh, have time to play apart from coming on a talk show to talk about his job. Kate did get a crown. Joe got a crown. Me and Oliver did not. That's okay. I got I got mine last night. Kate got hers today. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. Joe stole my tail oh, at the last second. Oh, it was beautiful. I loved oh, seeing that. Yeah, that was wonderful. You got your, you got your, the, the only thing that would have made that better is if you had you been the one to do it. But I think I think I feel like just you watching me suffer was was good enough for you, right? It was wonderful. I enjoyed every single moment of that. <laughs> That was really fun. Okay, so you're going to continue streaming? I am. I'm only two hours into my day, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to play some more Fall Guys? I'm going to play some more Fall Guys. All right. Uh, have fun. I hope to play with you again soon. Awesome. Oh, and uh, don't forget, let us I think we can do the announcement. You want to talk about next week's guests? I do. Uh, next week on the show, this next show is uh, next Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have Felicia Day, 
and Amy Okuda. We did talk about That's this right. last night. Uh, they've yep. been playing Fall Guys quite a bit together, and we're going to have a four stack and try to get all of us some crowns. I'm trying to get this uh, image here. Right here. There we go. So, yes, Felicia Day from the Guild, of course, um, one of the, the, the coolest uh, geeky personalities out there, and Amy Okuda, her former um, uh, Guild uh, cast mate, both former uh, guests on Animal Talking, of course, friends of our, of our other show, and uh, they have been having a lot of fun playing. Uh, they've warned me that they're not very good. They don't have a crown yet, but we'll we'll fix that for We're them. We're gonna get them their crowns. We will get them a crown for sure. We will we will get them a crown for sure. So f next Friday, seven o'clock Pacific, we'll be back with a new uh, uh, Talk Guys episode. Felicia and Amy will be joining me and Kate. And uh, what a great way to end the week, though. I know you're going to continue streaming, but I'm really pleased with how that show went. There's so much fun playing with Joe and Oliver. Absolutely. And if anyone from either perspective, either chat, is uh, missing shows or you want to watch again, uh, they will be up on both of our YouTube channels, uh, Gwitta and Kate Stark, respectively, um, or right here on Twitch, so you can watch I'm gonna ra I, th I think I'm going to raid my channel into yours. That sounds great. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna run my end credits now, and uh, in about thirty seconds, you'll be on the you'll be on the receiving end of a little raid. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm gonna run right. my credits too. See you, Kate. Bye. Bye, Gary. That was a great show. Great show. Easy clap. Oliver and Joe were fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Much appreciated. Uh, we'll see you next Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific.